made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. All right, good morning, good morning. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. I am Manning's man, and I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting the channel. Uh, we are steadily and growing day by day. Thanks to your subscriptions, you watching and liking the content that we put out, and we really, really, really appreciate that. The video today is sponsored by Trick Nick. Visit them at tricknickcooks.ca right and use the coupon code i am sure sports 001 to get 25 percent discount on all trick nick products they sell a whole host of products for your jerk and your barbecue it's a jamaican owned company in canada they use his Jamaican herbs and spices to make all their products. You need to check them out, uh, support them, and show them your love. 25% discount and everything for your jerk chicken, your fish, your pork, whatever you're jerking, your steak, you can check out Trick Nick Catering. So I want to say a big thank you to them. Uh, thank you to all the persons who have joined us early. You may be watching and you have not yet made a comment but we appreciate that today we have a very special special show planned for you in fact this is going to be a very special day we are introducing a new segment to our platform it is called the rising star right where we will be featuring a couple of jamaican prospects whether that whether they be in the sport of football or or tennis or swimming or cricket we're, whatever sports they are, we are going to bring them on this platform to highlight them. And we have three, two young ladies and a young man. They're all soccer players, football players, and they'll be joining us. We will also be having uh, none other than Roderick Reed, uh, former national footballer, Tivoli Garden player, uh, joining us as well. He's going to be on the platform today. I know the thumbnail has roger creed and it also has lenny hyde lenny hyde will be joining us for tomorrow's show when we'll have some other rising star joining us as well so stay tuned for that and and i hope you're excited as i am and so we have a little bit of time and uh if you look in the description of the video you would see that we want to to talk about something that is happening in the in the world of sports uh right now read the world cup before we introduce uh, before we introduce uh, Roderick, uh, Roderick Reed to the show, we want to spend a little time to discuss that. And then once we have done that, we will get into the, the highlight of the show, the interview part. But, you know, we have our introductory video that we want you to play to get you familiar with I Am Sure Sports. As you know, I Am Manning's Man, so just listen to this right now and enjoy. I Am Sure Sports. I am sure sports. You know me there, yeah. I'm coast to coast representing. I'm mean, say this is right as representing for Omar. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Boy, 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 boy. 
Me say I am sure sports one thing me sure about When me say sure that me me not doubt Come get your sports, get it over here Come subscribe, repost and share I am sure sports one thing me sure about When me say sure that me me not doubt Come get your sports, get it over here Come subscribe, repost and share yeah, If me not sure that me me not say it Know who score that me me not say it Never know no game play that me me not say it If me never seen a game me not know who play For your sports news better come over your so For your soccer news then come over your so If you don't love sports still come over Yes, sir. For the day, don't you want to love over yes, sir. So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil or Argentina with these crap of players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices, add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. Yeah, you know, we have to big up our sponsors and say big thank you to Kim Righteous, who, you know, we wrote that little jingle, and it's, it's hot. Yeah, man. Again, welcome to the show. Like I said, we have a very special, special day. Um, it will be very, very special day, very, very special time lined up. And so that is going to, it's going to be a big deal today. Remember, once you come on, we ask you to hit the like button, share the content with someone else, let them know that we are on. So I want to begin by asking you, first, let me just say that the issue that is happening right now in local football is this, the same problem that we have been having. And the problem is with Mobi United. As you know, Mobi United, um, they are, you know, in dispute with the, the Jamaica Football Federation, in particular, the competitions committee. And the dispute is arising out of a situation where Mobi United feels like they were not given enough time to prepare themselves for the start of the the uh the competition so they could have played against not not mobile united what other sorry what other feels like they an injustice has been done to them and they had not been given enough time to prepare for the playoff game about against mobile united which would then give them an opportunity to participate in the next edition of the local premier league all right so they had a major complaint about that um, because they weren't allowed to. And so what has happened really is that Mobia has been uh Mobia United has been promoted at the expense of Wadada. And the the, 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 the the coach or one of the owners of Wadada now are joint owners, Daniel Ricketts, I think his name. If you know him, he played at Carnival College, represented Jamaica. They call him Cuphead. Um, he is not happy about the decision that was taken and so but the truth is uh, from where i stand i think the fact that a western team is now in the league it's a good thing and there is no way two teams could have been added it would have been better indeed if they had a playoff but if there are certain requirements that you're not able to meet i can understand the decision of the competitions committee to not allow them to be in and i'd say to what other listen um, the next edition of the Premier League, according to what they have stipulated, should be around 14, 14 teams, which means that you stand a chance of being promoted then. So just go back to the join board and put your house in order, and then you should be set for the next edition. So I hear many people saying that, that what should have happened is that they should have just added both teams, and there's a complaint about, you know, the small amount of teams outside of Kasafa, really in the Premier League. That is not the... Listen, at the end of the day, if the clubs were properly prepared and run, I think they would be playing in the top flight. I can tell you about Reno. The structure at Reno had broken down, and therefore the consequence of that is that you get demoted. 
you can't look at the amount of teams outside of Kingston and St. Andrew that have been demoted and then complain because it, the teams in Kingston and St. Andrew are doing well. The, the, other, the other parishes, I respectfully suggest that they should get their houses in order, get their football system and structure in order, get, get stuff in order. If, you're properly, if your clubs are properly organized, properly run, then the truth is you will, you will make it to the Premier League and stay in there. Mount Pleasant didn't get demoted. Look, up, look at the success of Mount Pleasant. If you have a properly organized club, you will play in the top flight. And that is just the truth. So don't, don't look at it and say, why no team from West Milan? Why no team from Hanover? Why no team from St. Elizabeth? What we need to do is to talk to the parish presidents. Why have they been serving? Why have they been serving for so long in these parishes? And still yet they cannot produce a team in the Premier League. That's the bigger question. What is happening to the football? Why St. Elizabeth Technical has been so consistent in the Da Costa Cup uh, and, and St. Elizabeth don't have a team in the Premier League? Why Rossi's has been so su successful in the Da Costa Cup for so many years and there's not a team from Hanover in it? These are the questions that we need to, we need to answer. Yeah, man, big up Falmouth United, uh, Balakar, a team, an upcoming team. And I believe they are going to be the next representative out, out, out of Kingston and St. Andrew in the Premier League. And that has to do with how the teams um, run, how they are operated. So I don't want the competition to, to be blamed for the failure of teams to, to, to operate um, their clubs in a what I call an effective and efficient way, especially some of the clubs who are outside of Kingston and St. Andrew. All right? So that is just my position on that. The other question I want to ask you uh, or speak to you about is the, 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 the whole idea of, let me see, um, the, the World Cup, like what the World Cup should be but we're gonna get into that i believe we we have our guest here already he's earlier than i but i see i, I, I see a name here do i have the right name yes so we have our i think we have our guest so we're going we're going we're going to spend some time you know because i want to dedicate most of um most of the time talking to our guests um mr roger creed and if you don't know if you don't know roger creed they call him little richie big tivoli gardens footballer then you you, you you have not been watching football for a while all right um so let me let me just connect with him yeah so what do you think about the, the World Cup people? Um, people in the chat, let me just, again, hit the like button once you come on to the video, share the video. Hit the like button, people. And please, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. All right, so let me ask you again. Um, and we're going, we're going to discuss this at the back end. Do you believe that the World Cup should be increased to 48 teams? And should it be kept over two years a two-year cycle instead of a four-year cycle. All right. So um, let us just do this right now.
And yes, people. So here's the thing now. All right. So here's the thing. Let me let me let me let me let me ask you. Let me let me say this, right? Let me let me let me talk to you. Do you believe the World Cup cycle? I think, I think, I think, I think we're having a little challenge, right, people? So our our, our guest is trying to sort it out, I think. Um so we, we're trying to work that out. So just give us a few minutes. I think he sent the wrong link. Right, so he's trying to sort that out because he wants his friends and family to be on it. So he's trying to sort that out right now, and then we're gonna get back on um, to it. But should the World Cup be kept over two years, or should it continue over the four-year cycle? That's number one. The other thing is, should it be increased from the present amount of teams, which is thirty-two to forty-eight? What say you? Let me let me get some of your comments and then our guests will come on and sing. What say you? Yeah. What say you? What say you? Come on, people, talk to me. Two years or four years, should it be increased? Should it be increased to 40 teams? Here's, here's what I believe. I believe that it should be increased to 40 teams. But I don't think they should increase the allocation to... Um, I don't think they should increase the allocation to... The allocation of the European nations. Like, like I think... So, if it, if the, so it's 32 now... Right, so 48 would be an, a, 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 an addition of 16 teams, right? I think if they're going to increase it to 48 teams, then most of those allocations should go, like I think South America, South America should, should, should get like two spaces. I think CONCACAF should, should move up to five. That's what I think. So that means five automatic spots, and then they have a playoff spot. That, that's what I believe, right? Um, so that's what I believe. I believe that the CONCACAF nations should get some additional spots. Uh, three more, which would be two automatic, which would move CONCACAF to five, and then they have a playoff, right? I think South America should get two more, which would move theirs to seven. I think Africa should get two more, all right. I think um, Asia should get one more. Right. I think. Um, yeah. When you go to like New Zealand and those places, they should they shouldn't have to play off. They should get one. And then the other one is a playoff. All right. Uh, that's what I believe. And then you can consider Europe in terms of how you allocate that. But that's what I believe, because I think this would be beneficial for 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 Jamaica. Right. Um, what say you? Should it be increased though? Should it be increased? I see one person saying that um one one. You, you think it should stay every four years is part of why players and fans value it. I don't think the value would drop if it were to go to two years. Um I, 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 I mean the, the, like I think if a player gets to their prime at 26, right? And play at a World Cup at 26, say they miss the World Cup at 26. And have to wait four years. The, it's, it's like you're gonna miss out on the prime years of some of the players. I think if it is at a two-year cycle, what will happen is that many players will will end up playing at a World Cup at least once at the prime of their career. And so I think the two-year cycle is not a bad thing. What say you? What say you? All right. What say you people? What say you? Remember what the show will be like today. At, at around, um, in, a, in, a, in around 32 minutes or so, we'll be having Roderick Reed, right? If you know, if you know a baller named Trayvon Reed, you know, that's his, that's his, that's his uncle. I remember the first time I saw Trayvon. He probably not going to remember me. 
I told him that you know skill like your uncle. You understand me? So we are going to hear who is, you know, uh, listen, you have to, if you don't know Roger Creeder, you have never heard about him. You have not been watching local football over the years. This man was a genius in his time. And so we're going to find out why he never made it into Europe, what was life like playing for Jamaica um, in his earlier years. And then later today, um, we have, like I said, some rising star. We have a, we have a Jamaican who... Um, never represented Jamaica at the youth level, but he is going to be going to real, um, real Sociedad and on um, uh, on trial to, to play in La Liga. And he wants to represent Jamaica, he's a center back. We're going to have him on today. We have two future reggae girls who are creating, um, you know, creating a name for themselves in America right now. Youngsters who want to represent Jamaica, those who are not born here. We're kind of having this dialogue because there's a lot being said about people born in and outside of Jamaica. So we want to discuss that, right? Um, let me get some more of these comments. I see Kar Kareem Grant saying the value would drop if it is every two years and can't be used as a measuring tool across generations. Uh, okay. Um, really, I, how would the value drop? Wouldn't the football be better, you believe? I think the football would be better. I think the I think the football would be better. And I see I'm one one agreeing with you that the value would drop, knowing that you don't have more chances to win, makes you value it more as a player than fan. It's common sense. Yeah, but it would it would make it more competitive. Think about it. If you can catch all the top players in their prime, too many players from the lower nations end up going to the World Cup when they are old. I think if you increase the cycle. And, and have one like playoff thing where it is, it is a, even the playoffs would become more competitive, I believe. I think even the playoffs would, would, would even be more competitive. I, see, I think, no, this is a, very, this is, this is a v v valid point. This is, this is a fear that I have. The fear I have is what would happen to the other competitions that are normally played i think that's a bigger discussion bigger discussion right um what would happen to some of the other competitions would the value of those competitions be affected i i think i think that would be that would be a bigger issue That would be a bigger issue and that that is where my 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 like i said that is where i i i i think the issue would be the issue would be what would happen to all the other competitions in between but I think, I mean, think about it. Think about it. Think, think about this. If Leon Bailey could play in the 2022 World Cup, a 2024 World Cup, and a 2026 World Cup, instead of possibly playing one. Right? So we can look at it that way. Look at how, I mean, like, f I think it would make football in even other places, uh, like, I, I think the level of football would become so competitive because no more people believe that they have an opportunity to make their nation's um, World Cup team. I, I, I think it would push competition and make it more, yeah. Uh, so when you play, when you... When would you play Copa America, the Euros, African Cup of Nations? They would get obsolete or become irrelevant. Like I said, Joseph Brown, I think this is the bigger issue. What would happen to all of these other competitions? I, I think this is a bigger issue. Like, what would happen to Copa America? What if those competitions were to be held 
every four years and the world cup and the world cup is the only competition right so if if and and if their four year cycle fall on a world cup year they keep it the year before so you you'd have like a three year cycle four year cycle for all of those other competitions imagine with me people if usain bolt had a couple more olympics in between <laughs> So nobody, I have nobody agreeing, you know. Four years give countries a lot of time to test and adjust their other competitions to feel their best team for the World Cup. All right? So, all right. So I'm going to give you this one. So you, everybody win because everybody seems to say, keep it at four years. All right? No. All right. If you're, if you're, if you're talking about the competition and losing its value, so why 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 should they increase the amount of teams? I think they should I think they should keep it at the same amount of teams then. I think they shouldn't increase it from 48 teams but keep increase it to 48. But I would I would keep it at 32 because if it's a matter of keeping it competitive keep it at 32. Don't increase the numbers. Don't increase the numbers. Keep it at 32. Because if you keep it at 32, you're keeping the value and the competitive nature of it. Because we can't use one argument. You can't use one argument to say it's going to mess up competition. And then want to increase the number of teams. Look, look at this comment. <laughs> um, they should increase the teams but remove some of the European spots and give to the other confeds <laughs> really? <laughs> no but which confed deserves more spot than the Europeans given you know the amount of nations that um, uh, make up Europe our footballing nation our dominant footballing nation I see John Doe saying that we could use some of those competitions as qualifiers for the World Cup. That's a very good point. You play the Copa America, and if you are the winner, you automatically come. You, you, certain teams, you could use those competitions, yes. As, as Hey, this is a very good point, John Doe. Yeah, but Dapper, all right, Dapper agent, if you're saying increase the amount of teams so that you can increase watch this the marketability of it why not do it over that's what i'm saying why not do it every two years you, that's what i'm saying you we have to be careful because one argument you may be using one argument to add to the increasing of teams which is to probably your confederations benefit but you don't want to change the cycle of years because you want to maintain a certain prestige so the argument is conflicting it its own self because the best thing to do is if you keep it at the four years to don't increase the teams and i think as long as the teams are not increased the the football globally will not be as balanced as it ought to be like certain confederations will continue to be dominant for example has there ever been a winner of the world cup outside of south america and europe yeah. has there ever been has there ever been let me ask you again has there ever been a winner of the world cup outside of europe and south america I think when you increase it, you could see other winners of the World Cup. When, when you increase it, because I'm saying put two, both things together. Increase it, change the cycle to two years. Give more teams a chance to believe that they can win. Because if it's two years, I will have my best talent at their peak 
at least for one cycle. Yeah, some hey, you guys are very intelligent today. Yeah, some very great, great comments. Great, great comments and things. Let me just touch base. Touch base with my guests. Saying that increasing it does not make it less competitive. If the places are allocated correctly, Africa has a lot of good teams able to compete that are not making it. All right. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Dapa agent says every two years put a lot of pressure on players combined with the other tournaments and league play. The quality of play might decrease because of injury. You see, when we speak like this, do you do you realize that? When you talk about the amount of tournaments and stuff, a lot of this is because we are focused on European football. And this is the problem with that the other confederations are having. The other confederations are saying that every FIFA decision is taken with, with Europe in mind. The, the heap of games that players have to play is not something that affects Kanka Kafino. It don't affect Africa, it don't affect Asia, it don't affect, well, it, it only affect primarily South America and Europe. But the rest of confederations don't have this issue. But we always, when we're thinking, we, we're thinking, we're thinking about Europe primarily. And I think that is why the, the football that the, the people outside of Europe want these changes. I'm telling you, the odds are in favor of a European team to win because they have 13 teams out of 36. That's what I'm saying. So if you have 48 and now you have more teams, more teams, in other words, um, South America is going to have more and uh, uh, North America is going to have more, I think that is going to shift the balance of who wins the World Cup, especially because a lot more pressure will be on teams to come back with the, with, 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 with the same, same kind of players and expect to win when other nations are going to have their best talent. It is Richard. Saying, um, could it be fair to suggest that either way, more team or a biannual World Cup, both are advantageous slash great for. I, I think so. I, I I don't know what you, but I think if they increase the numbers, they must change the cycle. If they keep the numbers, they must keep the cycle. That is my thought. That is my thought. Keep the numbers at 32, keep the cycle. But if you change the number, Change the cycle. That's what I do. A fresh God is saying that Europe is not going to agree with that, so it's not going to happen. Um, uh, one one says, if the increase in teams will make the tournament less competitive, then I disagree with it too. <laughs> okay, all right. But uh, but man is man, I hear that. But the best football is played in Europe, South America, and Africa. They should have the most slots and chances to win. Okay. All right, but uh, African nation has never won the World Cup. You know, the, the, the World Cup, um, the World Cup has only been won by teams in Europe and in South America. In fact, an a, African nation has never made the finals of the World Cup. Never. So I think if you if you put it to two years, 
it it will minimize the the European teams winning as often as they do. Because, like I said, because their leagues are so ongoing, it would be a lot of toll on the players in Europe, which would mean that a, a lot of them would not be able to come back to the World Cup and perform well after two years, which would give African, the Asian and African content and North American teams a greater opportunity because their local leagues are not as competitive and, you know, involve so much games and, and over a short period short period of time in, in i mean when i want to say that i mean their local the local leagues okay um all right let's let's see if we can get when you say of course they want to change but is the change better for football or better for them i think i think like nations like jamaica would benefit if it were two years and benefit if it were 48 teams. And this is a very good point, Richard. Can you imagine? Listen, if the World Cup were every two years, you know how many Caribbean nationals would now want to come? Our people with Caribbean connection would want to come back and play for their nations? Because now people are saying, what, 48 teams every two years? I could really come and play for Jamaica. I could play for Barbados. I could play for Guyana. I could play for... I think that would happen. I think, like, would have more players in Europe of Caribbean lineage or uh, who have Caribbean um, relatives coming back to the Caribbean and playing for Caribbean nations. Some of these players who... Um, are connected to the Ghana, Nigeria, and those places in Europe. Even a lot of the French players who are from Angola, places that were probably controlled by uh, under France, French rule. A lot of those players would not play for, 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 for French. The Algerians and these players, I think they would want to go back and represent those nations, which would probably weaken the European teams. What say you? Very good point, Richard. Very good point. Very good point. That as well, Dapper. You're still waiting um, on, on, on our guest, Roderick Reed. He says, give him a few and he will be on. I know some of his family. Big up. Big up all the Tivoli Garden. Uh, massive watching, right? This is one of the... Listen, people, I want to tell you this, right? So, you... I don't know what the, I need to ask when, 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 when Roderick Reed comes on. I'm going to ask him, what is in the water down in Tivoli? Because some, somebody, I mean, when I talk about wingers who have been very skilled, let me give you, I mean, what I can remember, all right? You have Roderick Reed, Ricardo Fuller, Jeremy and Johnson. Now you have Trayvon Reed, right? Uh, people tell you about the tri Pinocks and other people, but when you think about there's something about, they always seem to produce these, these gems that when they get the ball, they dribble fast and they are very, very, very skilled. Very, very skilled. So I'm going to ask him, that's one of the questions I want to ask him. What is in the water or is it the food down there? Why, why they do this? They are so good at it. Yeah, um, good in theory until the game start to play and people start complaining about it. Yeah, listen. You, you still have lopsided scores in the World Cup. Even though you still have scrappy games in the World Cup. I've seen what we call big nations play scrappy games. The, the standard of world... Football has dropped so much that I'm just about able to be excited by a World Cup right now. Make it every two years, <laughs> I probably won't care. All right, um, very much. Uh, Yakin Guzman says, Europe so players will get injured and the best players won't play the tournament. No, but I mean, playing the competition like the Champions League is played every year. Why, why, why? 
Why why you think they're gonna get injured? Owen, oh, Owen, oh, no. Um Roderick is going to be on. It's quarter to twelve. He's going to be on in, in a very short while. He's getting himself ready um and stuff. And he wants, I know one of the things he wants to do as well is to make sure that all his relatives are and friends home and abroad are watching. You understand me? Because a lot of them, a lot, a lot, a lot I realize that a lot of persons that didn't get to watch these legends play. And they probably seen them for the first time when they see them on this platform. So don't worry, he's going to be on. We're waiting on him and he's listening. So he knows that you're anxiously waiting to hear him and see him after so many, after so many years. All right. Ishmael King, bless up, says before the world athletic championship started, there was a lot of pushback too. Yeah. The same thing with the world relays. People are saying that do, do away with the world relays. It, it wouldn't make any sense. Why are they doing it? And you see, I mean, the world relay is coming a fixture in, in world athletics right now. So sometimes change always get a pushback. Um, so I think it can work. People, please hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. The World Cup is not as exciting as it was before. Already make it every two years and it will be even less exciting okay all right all right there is no way one confederation should have half the number of a tournament less spots for europe will make their qualifying more competitive and also ensure that other confines have a chance i don't listen i think it's hard i think it's easier to increase the spaces than to take spaces from europe that's what i believe I don't think at this point you can take slots from Europe. I think it would be easier to increase the spaces. So, man, is man, your solution I, is to endanger the health of players so that other countries can get a better chance. Okay. At, 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 Kareem Grant, if you can just tell me what part, if you can just share it with me, Kareem, because we love dealing with facts, you know. I, I, um, so when um, somebody just remind me at what part of the clip I said my solution is for players to get injured. So if you can tell me that, Kareem, I'll work with it. I will find it, and if I said it, I will apologize. If I said that, if, if I said that I want players to be injured so that other confeds, if, I, if you can tell me where I say that, I'll play it back and certainly I will apologize because I don't recall saying anything like that. I, I, I don't. Or I can't, I can't, I, I don't recall suggesting that. So, um, if, but if you, if you can find it, I'm very humble in my opinion. So if you can tell me when I said that or where I said it, I will apologize because I never suggested that players must be injured so that other confeds can get spot. I, all right. That means I don't want to set up Europe so them no win again, which doesn't make sense. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What you just said sounds like it will make the World Cup worse. Good teams not able to play at their best every two years doesn't sound like a good thing. All right. All right. I hear you. We, the fans, also have to blame. We support Europe and South American football and, and, and disregard any other league. Okay, so. So, so, all right. So, so what most people are saying is that the present format is fine. The present format where 32 teams out of the close to 300 teams who play world football, only 32 get to go to the World Cup every four years. So if you have your best players at 26 and you miss out by a point for that for that generation, you will not get to play for the World Cup. All right? You will not play in the World Cup again because at least for the next 20, 40 years or whatever. All right? So follow me. But Europe gets 13 spots out of 32. CONCACAF gets three. Right, though more teams are playing football, so don't increase it and don't change the cycle. How is that like helping? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out because the solution cannot be this. 
maybe the solution is not to change the amount of teams. The solution is not to change the cycle. What is the solution to, 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 to make football have a global appeal that you don't have a tournament for 89 years and only two continents have won it and two continents only? It is an indictment on the people who operate football. It would be like this. If you have the Olympics and only Jamaica and the United States from the beginning of it until this time can win 100 meters. We have to find a way of making it more competitive so that not just two teams, that is my point, you know, it cannot be that just two continents alone win every World Cup titles. It means that the development of the game in other continents and the value of the game. So let us come up with a solution then outside of not increasing the number and not changing the cycle. So let's shift the discussion to that and see where, I mean, there are so many comments coming in. Coming in I don't even know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Karim. No, man, I'm, I'm giving you trouble. You know. I know that we never said to you. I know that, I know that you just tried to pull my leg. All right? So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So tell me, people, what would be the solution? What would be the solution? What would be the solution? Like I said, that we have, we have, um, I'm doing all this talking now. So that when Roderick um, Reed comes on, I don't have to do all the talking. He can just, you know, take the show and run with it. So just waiting on him to jump onto the stream and then we will, we, we, we will get on. <laughs> uh, um, See, um, Jay Taylor saying he doesn't like the, the current format. We need to adjust it to at least two to three years and add, add more teams. I think he's saying, yeah, every two years will take away the excitement. That's what Claudine has said. Uh, one one is, but one one you can't because the problem is that FIFA only care about money. So places that don't deserve more spot will get more because they have money. But one one, you said that you don't watch it, you know, because the quality will decrease the quality would be worse so what is the solution what 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 would be the solution be all right so let me hear the solution the solution is to restructure in the spot 46 teams in african africa asia 54 34 in Concacaf, but europa has half of the teams in the tournament so you think kareem that Europe is going to allow the footballing powers to take away some of their spots. This is probably, we would not see this. I don't think we'd ever see this. All right, let me ask a good question. What do you think about um, the Nations League? Because remember, Europe was opposed to the Nations Leagues, you know. Because remember, why the, the Nations League came up is because some of these big teams or these big nations only wanted to play certain nations because of money. And so FIFA and, and, and then they would play games and have their friendlies when they want in the FIFA window. And so what happened is that FIFA said, listen, let us open this thing up. Let's make a league where you play against people, right? And so I would think that what they would need to do is to cut out the Nations League and implement implement this, this changing of the World Cup cycle so that you don't have time for any friendly game. Really, you just whatever you play is a qualifying tournament. Because I think those qualifiers would probably be tough as well. But I don't know. But there needs to be... There needs to be some sort of solution. Because I, I cannot understand how 32 teams playing in World Cup for so long. And not only that, but here's the next problem. Only two continent has won the World Cup.
All right. Yeah. So, uh, JTL, I saying the EPL is every year, but yet it still excites fans. We can't say it would be exciting if we don't try, and it's going on too long. We need to change. People are always afraid of the of the unknown. Yeah. All right, so people get ready as we are about to, you know, touch base with our guests. Listen, if you if you're coming on, if you are if you are from out of TG, you are, you are on the stream for the first time to listen to listen to Roderick speak. Please, um, let us know. You understand me? So we can we can greet you. We can welcome you to the platform. Right. Also, hit the like button, people. Hit the like button, people. Hit the like button, people, once you come on. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, we ask you to do so. All right? So if this is your first time, because I know that I know that Mr. Reed is going to send out the link to a lot of you down in, in, in TG, you know. So please, people, when you come on, just say, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm coming on because, yeah, I want to hear. Mr. Roderick Reed speaks up, speak about his time in football and playing for Tivoli Gardens. If you're a KC, a old boy, a present student at KC, you know that he also played at Kingston College. Yeah, I believe his son is presently playing at Clarendon College. So, you know, it's a football run in the genes. You understand me? We're not talking like denim and those things. You understand me? We're talking to G-E-N-E. Welcome, Neil. But there are many nations on those continents. I advocate greater funding and coordination for development, but I'd stick with the current format. All right. All right. But you're saying pump money into the federations and so what? That would help them to qualify. All right. That's a good point. That's a good point. All right. Give me one sec, people. TG and you come onto the stream, you are here because Mr. Roderick Reed is here. So you have to you have to put a thumbs up so he can know that you are here to support him. Earlier I saw your nephew Trayvon, so let me introduce him because he don't look like how he used to look when we used to watch him back in the days, you know. But you understand, so let's see. Mr. Roderick Reed. Yes, sir. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm doing good. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome. Yes, yeah, good to be here. Yeah, man. I see you have on your, your TG. One thing, you should have yeah, a jersey. Tiffany, you, know, you, have you, should, you, know? you should have half of it, Tiffany, half of it, KC. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to represent a Tiffany it all started, you know? Oh, it's oh, okay, okay. It started. All started Tivoli. there. But I, I'm not hearing you that, that, that clearly. It's a bit low. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Um, you can you, you have anything you can turn up the volume on your end. All right, just give me a second. Yeah. Try this. See if this will work. I use it. Yeah, your headphone. Uh, already the phone already um turn up to the max. Yeah, man. Use your headphone and thing. 
No. All right, people, just tell me if you're hearing. I know you're hearing me now, so tell me if you're hearing Little Richie. Thumbs up if you're hearing. Hello? Yeah, man, you're hearing now? Hearing better? Uh, much, yeah, much better. All right, all right. So listen, I, I have been doing all the talking, you know, so I'm going to I'm going to hand over it to you now too. Um, yeah, everybody's saying you're loud and clear though. So I want you okay. to tell us about your footballing, where you started, you know, from primary school to high school to because I, I know in our in our in our conversation you said that the greatest year of Manning Cup was nineteen eighty eight. <laughs> so I, I want you to tell us all of that up to your time at Tivoli and then representing Jamaica. All right. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, if you can just go back a little because they, they're not seeing you, they're just seeing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, it all started from Denham Town Primary School, you know. Yeah, win Primary League. Play um, Primary League for about two years. And win in, in our last year, which was the final year for me. And we did get a, a, um, the championship, and then from there, that's about it, to Tivoli School. Oh, you went to Tivoli? You went to Tivoli? Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, I thought you went to KC. KC? No, Tivoli Garden Comprehensive High School, oh, sir. Oh, you went to Tivoli. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yes, All right. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, who was on the Tivoli team with you, and how well did you do in the, in the, in the Manning Cup that season? Manning Cup. I played Manning Cup like for about three years, actually. Okay. 86, 87, and 88. Okay. You so said 80, that man, 88, you said, was the best year of Manning Cup. Tell us about that year. Yes, Who was man. on your team and how far Tivoli went that year? We actually um lost in the semi final to, I think we lost to Arden. But, Arden? You, know, <laughs> you can't believe that, though. <laughs> because it was a group stage. I think it was we, Arden, and Dunoon. So, and, and that's what. Basically, it was last in the semi final. We finished third, third and fourth playoff. We play, um, who it was Calabar, I think it was a trial draw in a Sabina Park. Yeah, so and yeah, and my Tivoli team, um, Ian Fogo, okay. I Fidel Aminton at one part, and then he left and went to um, Excelsior, right? You have Raymond Barrett, yeah, Stuart Clark. Um, so, but you were a star. Jones. Oh, oh, star. Our oh, eye fidel, our eye fidel. All right, could it, you could have said that one of the top striker. Okay, how many goals you scored in the in which year in the Manning Cup you scored the most goals? I think that 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 eighty eight here. Okay, yeah, in eighty eight. Okay, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. okay. So when you were playing Manning Cup, were you also playing for the Tivoli senior team or? Yes, I did make my breakthrough in the senior team about at 15, 16. At 15? Yeah, that, that's that's the time in Jamaica where they usually use like um because major league usually play in the week. So you couldn't use the players them that play Premier League on the Sunday. So then now you have to have a balance, a big enough squad. So you use some people in a major league and you use some on the weekends in a national league. So that's okay. where yeah. So at 15 you were playing for Tivoli. Yes, sir. Them in time the that Owen Sharp was the coach. Owen Sharp. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. And and so you 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 finish Manning Cup. Um, did you get called up called up to any of the Jamaica junior teams um during those times? No, I never get called for under 16, 17, 18, 19, nothing. I just left from um Manning Cup finish and straight to the national program. Well, what oh well, no, because listen, I want the young people to hear these things, you know. So you leave from <laughs> Tivoli High School and went straight into the senior national team for Jamaica. Yes, because I was already playing national league at from from the moment I'm in school. So, you know, I wouldn't need the, 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 Jamaica at that time they didn't have an under twenty three team until just before Simonis come actually. Was the but first? I never get any, I never played any youth football. Okay, okay. Mm. All right. How good was your Tivoli Gardens Premier League team at that time? Mm. We did, we did actually good, you know, because we, 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 we lost, you know, the semi-final to Reno, you know. We did actually have a good side with, and 
you're going to surprise to hear some of the name like then I, I hear you was referring to this person yeah. um then then Ochinsa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And well, and Lenworth Hyde. Yes, yes. And he's I going to, to be up. on he's going to be on tomorrow. Here. Okay. Yeah. I used to be ball boy for Tivoli while these guys was playing. Yeah, so and then he ended up playing with them. At okay, and play with Lenny also on the national team too. Hold on, man. So you and <laughs> you and you and Lenny were in the national team at the same time? Yes, we played what at one stage when we were in Trinidad. You if, if you remember that they had a coup in Trinidad. When they killed the president, I think Tigat Lenny was, was part of that squad. Oh, I think Tigat was telling us about that. Because Tigat was in that team as well. Yes, Hector, right. Okay. Yeah, so so that, that Tivoli team did, did solid. Corey Marshall, he did have Salomon Sharp. That that, so that, that team was solid. People don't know Salomon it, Sharp. Salomon Sharp out by Caymanas Park. Right now, the whole of the out here. That's <laughs> Salomon Sharp. Yeah, a ball at all. Ian Fogo, <laughs> Corey Marshall. You know, it, it was a very good team. And who was the goalkeeper? Uh, you did have Desmond Francis and later on, you know, my later year when I'm, you know, it was Elsa Scott, Rabbi Elsa Scott, Scott coming in Rabbi later, Scott. you know, the later part. Okay and, okay, and we did win national league, but you weren't there. You were there when they win, they won it. Yeah, I think I, I was on the ninety-eight squad with Vernon Bell. I think Vernon Bell was coaching that side when they yeah, have Vernon the card of pull at them and the right. Jeremy and Marco Johnson McDonald. and the team or the Marco McDonald. Yeah, all those guys, Leroy Francis, them and you, you yeah. know who was good in that time. So you had you had um Kimo Dread and and Bo Nicholson. What's his name? They Christopher. Christopher. Both... Yeah, but he stopped playing football. <laughs> uh I, I guess I'm not seeing him now. Probably leave it leave it to the youngster then, but he's still around. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. So that Tivoli team actually won the Premier League. Who you played in the final? Your... I think was I'm, I'm not Siva? sure. Or Reno. I'm not sure. It's probably one of those teams though. Or it was Reno. I think he's either Siba or Reno. Yeah. And Zane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was in the latter year I I uh, uh, Yes, on my way out. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's right. that's when you're bringing up the, all of those Fulan, Jeremy, and Johnson, Nicholas, those, you know, Marco McDonald, all of them little juvenile was there. Yeah. So tell us what, what is in the water down in Tivoli make you always produce these silky players on the ball, very fast and skillful. I see Jeremy and Johnson, you, Ricardo Fuller, um, then Trayvon. You, you see, Trayvon, no, and see what, what is in the water down there and how can we get some? I mean um it's it's just it's just natural and it's actually all over jamaica actually but you know it's you know it's just for the youth them to get a get a, a blight you know get opportunity and i think that's what lacking in a jamaica football now no opportunity for the youngster them in jamaica okay okay yeah you know you know somebody named sheldon campbell <laughs> yeah him say, him, him say your name bug rich you know <laughs> <laughs> i won't reach fan this door sir <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so so tell us about. I mean, what was what was it like playing in the national team? Because here it is. I talked to Tigat, right? Mm -hmm. I talked to Hector, right? Now I speak. I, I talked to Paula. I talked mm -hmm. to you, and all of you guys were playing in the senior team in your teenage years. We really see a youngster get into the Jamaica team now, but yet we big them up. We big them up in, you know, they're the greatest thing on your big, but they can't get into the national team as teenagers. And you guys in your days were just getting into the national team, 16, 17. Hector Wright was in there at 17, going to 18. Same thing with Tigat, same thing with you. I Walter mean, Boyd what was, Walter Boyd, what was happening mm -hmm. in those times to make it so easy for players like you to get into the national team? Well, I, I think it, I think it really have to do with the, the, the local football itself, because as I said, I tell you before, so I think 88 was my best era. The last era, best on the Manning Cup. I mean, other people might say otherwise, but you know, I just think the standard of football really and truly kind of drop, you know, somewhere at Jamaica. I don't know how they're going to fit, uh, restore that back, but I think that's that's one of the main issues. You don't, you don't see the youngster them like that anymore. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so you're saying that, that you believe that the standard of football has dropped? Uh, it, go ahead. Yeah, to me. What do you think? Um, because you, you watch we play though. Yeah, I am saying okay, that. Then. I I think like I, I know the training. I don't think these players like take their personal training mm -hmm. as serious as some of you guys in those days. 
yeah, and committed to the fo well i guess no 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 one then was different still because um no it's like we we did just do it for the love whenever whenever i expect our there's nothing there for you to get so we just we, the love of football because that's what we always do football are probably something where most of we come from in you know, the ghetto it help out and keep her from doing other stuff so you know that's just basically it yeah man i wanted to tell them a little bit about what it was like for you to travel to to Jared Park to play what are the R from to play Reno. Or I remember there was a game once that I think it was Tivoli and Arnett Garden who played at Up Park Camp. Yes. And they, they had to replay the game without spectators mm -hmm. because the mm -hmm. first one is spectators. But how how tense were those games back in and the you, days? And you know, yeah. funny, um, actually that you see that um particular game you refer to, you know, the state of my I, I never even play in that game. My, at that time my mother usually tell me, so listen, you can't go play them football, they're a big man thing that and when I want to hear them place there. And it's so what me that's, that incident happened the day and I was like, okay. You know what he does say. But eventually um it get better now. So, you know, we all started to go to on it and you know, the more years by years it just get normal. But them them games they oh trust me i hear Hector right i tell you when him come at tivoli oh the man them deal with them as countrymen and very very which is yeah. true you know just so it go yeah everywhere you go you have a style um opposition yeah. supporter so and coming to throw man to go be oh god them oh you think a tivoli got near there oh we're right, 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 right. and oh but you know we just we just know some ball will come play a spectator that like, so. how, how was it going up against mark agla wilson <laughs> Oh, Ag <laughs> well, you know what? Agla, Agla, Agla create a lot of damage, you know, all in a practice national team. Coach Carl yeah. Tell yeah. him. And, and coach always tell me that because I remember one time we leave for play, they usually have the All Island knockout, which yeah, I think it yeah. was, it did name Jamaica National or something Jamaica, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, but the knockout. team them usually play on neutral ground. So we play um, Reno at Brooks Park, I think. Yeah. yeah. People, if you don't and, know, Brooks Park is in Manchester. Yes. And. Yeah. Agla for some reason. Ah, red card. Steve Buckner have to run him off. The man give me a tackle. We reach back a camp the Monday. So Carl Brown had to let me know. So Jen come on and have to take care of each other when you're out there, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Agla, yeah. You know, you just have to just be aware of Agla. He most but, probably the man where you have to look out for. But you, were you the, were you there when he was in um Trinidad and Tobago with Dwight Yark? Were you in that team when they said yeah, that? that that was Why? the all school team. It's not in Trinidad. It was in Jamaica in the stadium. We win the all school that year. Right. And you and Hagler was on that team because he was at Rushes. Mm, tell us about me. that game because people tell oh, actually about... that, that team. Yeah, that team. That, that team was actually the first Jamaica team to ever win an international football tournament. Just remember that. Yeah. Yeah, with the Hector Wright, the Marie Cyrus, Chris Dias, Herbert Richards. There, there's so much. The, I think it was Clive Ninja. Um, Aaron, Agla, Aaron, Agla, Michael Graham, Michael Graham. I'm not even sure if Michael Graham didn't make the final but, team. But, but the were, team was he was in the squad. I was in the team. Yeah. Robert Small from Arnett Garden. Bingham. It, it was a very good side. And and to, to be honest with you, the camp it was so competitive because the amount of people get left off at that squad. You know, it, it was like it was a toss up. Okay, so that was the first Jamaica. People did. How many of you knew that? The first team in Jamaica to win an international tournament was the All Schools team. Yes. In 1988. Marvin Chin, all of them. Oh, Marvin Chin from Constant Spring was in that team he, as well. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Dean, was, uh, Dean, was, Sewell, Dean Sewell was in it? Dean. Uh, I'm not sure if Dean was in it. I'm probably going to have to look at the picture. I have the picture, but I know Murray Cyrus oh, was yes, there. Oh, yes, I have the picture. The that, that's the picture with all of you guys in the white. You had a... In the, it, like a silver um, yeah, jersey yeah, with yeah, the yeah, national yeah. color. Right, yeah, I, have it, there, I have it, yeah. I have it, but I can't make out any of the people. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was actually, yeah, because yeah, Aglan, the white yaki, that was the showdown in the stadium. So tell but me, we how did win that, that tournament. How did that go with Hagler? And, and tell me a little bit about Hagler, do I dare? Because I hear that Hagler was. I mean, I know that he used to even. I didn't, I, I'm not hearing you just now. Uh, yeah, you're hearing us now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, what, how did Hagler handle do I work or how did you <laughs> yeah, handle it? Hagler uh, angle everybody the same way. No special way. <laughs> That's just Hagler. Yeah, one way, I just one way Hagler play at and his match pace. Okay. All right, so yeah. tell us now about your time with the national team. What was that like? I, I know you were part of the first Jamaica team to win the Shell Cup. 
win the um, win at the okay then go ahead. Yeah, and you yep. were also part of the team that went to the Gold Cup. Yeah, score right. a couple of goals in the Shell Cup. Right. Actually, score yeah. on my debut. Come on the field, come on, bring yeah, me man. on. You have to tell us them things, man. Tell us. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. That was one. Yeah. yeah, that was tell the goal. Us, I think I Jamaica who host who the tournament. And I heard. Um, I think T got touch on it. Jarrett did actually leave the day before the game, but T got said that's the time him get his place. Yeah. But I think it was the other way around. I think that's the time I get a place in the team when Jarrett leave. Oh, that's so, Devon Jarrett who de later changed his name to Devon Ricketts. Doverman. De you used to call lose him. here again. Hello? They used to call him Doverman. That's Devon Jarrett. You hearing? Not hearing you. Hello? Yeah, man. We're hearing. Are you hearing? Yeah, I'm hearing you now. Yeah. All right. Let's, yeah, man. Just see if we can set the headphone. Yeah. yeah. Them. Right. Yeah, we know who it is, man. So that was De Devon Jarrett Doverman. Yes, um, that time. Ricketts eventually becomes Rich, Ricketts. Ricketts. Yes. All right. So tell us about that whole experience. So the, yes, the, so the debut the, the, for Jamaica. You scored on your debut because a lot of people think like they don't know that. I think Luton Shelton is the only person to score four goals on his debut. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Kevin Pelle Willis scored on his debut, and then mm -hmm. you are the other Jamaican who scored on your debut for Jamaica. So tell us about that. Yes, I did score on my debut. I come off the bench. Carl Brown bring me off the bench. And, and, and I think within that tournament, that's the time I developed the super sub. Um, right. You know? yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and I score on my debut as I come on the field, like probably about um, five minutes on the field, Hector Wright, which is probably me, one of my favorite midfielders, I must say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, Eki. Yeah, so, you know, I can't. I scored directly from a corner, Edda. Okay. And that, the against, rest who? Is... against who? Against who? I think it was St. Vincent, if I'm not lying. All right. So tell us about some of those national team experiences. Yeah, I scored actually three goals in that tournament coming off of the bench. And we won that tournament that year. And as I said, um, that's when Jarrett did leave. Because I was just the, um, like a reserve, basically. And then him leave. And then, you know, that's when I made my breakthrough. I scored okay. a couple of goals in that tournament. We, we did end up winning the tournament. And then that like, could qualify for the, for the World Cup. All right, and how did you perform at the Gold Cup? Because that would have been your, your, your first. I think that is the only Gold Cup you actually went to. It, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And and we played Mexico in the first game. I think we played them in the, um, Los Angeles, LA Coliseum, I think it is. Yeah. I yeah. think I gave a 4 1 to score a goal in there. Oh, you scored the one goal for Jamaica in that Mexico game? And actually, it is the first goal Jamaica ever scored in a Gold Cup. And you scored it? People, you see, you're getting some, you're getting, you're getting history. This because I, oh, yeah. I never, I never, I never knew that. But you played up front with Paul Tiga Davis, right? Yes, Bongo B. Yeah, man, I was me, and and mostly on the flank, cause you know Carl Brown did always show me out and tell me, so me response for find the big one. I'm refer to Tiga as the big one. You response for find the big one, it you know. Anyway, him that you make sure you find him. So how good Sorry. you think that Jamaica team was when it, when you look at like the present team now are. The team for la the last couple of years. How good do you think that team in the late 80s, early 90s, before Rene Simoy is come? Because like T got Hector Wright, Pala, these guys believe that if they had like the kind of organization and and um the organization and the kind of coach, not that Carl Brown is a bad coach, but if they had like the expert help of a Rene Simois, they would have qualified. They believe that the team was that good that they would have qualified. What what do you think? And and and, and they're actually right because um, when you look at it, you know, that 98 team and the whole build up start from that um, Shell Cup team there, you know. Okay. It's just Sim it's just Simone has come with a different approach and integrate. That's that's the time when them them bring in the under 23 team, and okay. then them just started to pull them in with 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 us with the bigger team that with 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 the bigger right, team the senior team to, yes because right. because that team as we are telling rich in talent and we always and there's no doubt if we'd have somebody like simonis but then simonis come and him saw us and him saw the under 23 and that's where he used now so that's why that's where all of the chris does them on the jason taylor the gregory messam the ricardo fuller the nandy Lord. that's where all of them come from the ali rose all of them come from the under 23 while we was at the senior level that's right Oh, so when always, Simone came, okay. Simone is just came in and then just integrate everybody. And then, so there, you know, him have a wide, you know, a wide variety where him can choose from and him pick. And one, because you know, all of them look under 20, that's the team where they would have to, under 23 squad, which was very good. 
Yeah. So it all that, started right, from 91 Reed. That is Messi and all of those guys in the under 23 squad. Yeah. Yes. The Robert, all them, all of them. Okay. We did, you know, no, um, because Walter did already did about the Nandi, because Walter was there with me in 91. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. As a yeah. youngster, though, because he was a teenager. Yeah. People don't know that he got into the team as a teenager as well. Yeah. I yeah. guess they will know now, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because, listen, the, the problem we have now is that we don't see teenagers. I mean, I see, like, even a junior Fleming who played for Tivoli as well at the Premier League level. He's at 24. Yeah. And, I mean, just kind of breaking into the national team. But when you think about, like, when you go back to your time, like, the, these, you guys got into the senior team playing regularly as teenagers. Here it yep. is that you're saying you're playing Premier League at 16 years old. Yep. I think he's probably only Cavaliers. I see doing that. I know Trayvon, maybe it's in your family because I see Trayvon was playing <laughs> for Tivoli while he was at KC, I mean, mm -hmm. a couple of seasons ago as, yeah. as well. Yeah, man. But what do you make of the present, you know, the national team now and just, and just the footballers? Because what, 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 I'm schoolboy football, the national team and just like Premier League football now? Because well, I mean, you still watch Tivoli and you, you still follow what is happening. Yeah, man. Watch, yeah, watch the, the game then, man. But, I mean, the whole thing, I think, I think, I think from the moment them drift away from the blueprint that um, Simone is, is up, that's, that's where them are. Because it, the whole thing has to be structured. You're not going to qualify for World Cup within four years. So you have to have a, a, a structure and, and a thing organized. And I think that's where it, it not have to do with Tapa and all of them and who come from England, who come from here or who come from. It does have to do with the structure. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And the, the football, Jamaica football right now, it looks like it, the uh, administrative part, they're all over the place. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. That is true. Yeah, yeah they, they're all over the place. Yeah, you, you have to have a foundation. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a new killer of youth where you, where, where you know, so, all right, these are the youth. Because as much as you, I hear Tigat and Hector touch on it about overseas, and people try to bash them when they were saying that. But I know, because at the end of the day, Jamaica, Simone is used overseas player. But you may have a new killer of Jamaican players who can hold yeah. them own. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, but that's that, what Dean Sewell said yesterday. What he was saying is that, listen, there has to be a base of local players where the coach can say, all right, let, let me try my philosophy with them. Let me see if this mm -hmm. works. Because you're not going to have the, the English base players every, no. every time. But you no. have some youth you're working with, and they are going to be like your guinea pigs. He was saying that. You're trying out mm -hmm. stuff with them. You're, mm -hmm. you're working with them regularly. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then you, you have a system, which is what he was saying. He said, you have a system mm -hmm. and then you're bringing three and you're bringing in a next four and yes. you bring into that Cause, system. Because that's how Simone is used to do it with the under 23. He never just bring them and then just oh, throw it all away. No. Him, 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 I think this right. one here already. That you can't, it, and, and that's the way you do it. And then after a yeah. time, all of the older ones were out and all of the under 23 just just kind just, of came in. And most of them end up at, world, at, 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 the, at, at the, the World, world Cup. Cup. I never went to the World <laughs> Cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is it. No, and, and, and we start the program because, like T got <laughs> yeah. to tell you, it all started from Suriname. Yes, yes. It that is, started from Suriname, and I played at that game too. So that is why I believe now that the, 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 the people, the JFF and the people at Jamaica need to get all of you guys. I know you probably can't come to Jamaica for the game against the USA. That was the day we qualified. But all of these people were part of it because people forget. People only remember the people who got to the World Cup, you know. But like yeah. Tigat said, they forget the first game against Suriname. Yeah. Suriname. Yes. And it was a completely different set of people in the Suriname game for the most part than yes. those who ended up at the World Cup. Yes, because Simone has never arrived at that. Simone has actually arrived just in time for the, I think, go play Borussia Dortmund in two games. Right, uh, yeah. Um, one in Montego Bay and one in uh, um, Kingston. Right. And, and, and that's when, you know, if Simone is coming in now and take charge and start to say, oh, this is how it's going to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that is such an important thing, though. And so one of my push is this. I think I, think I know persons from Tivoli Gardens watching the stream. They need to have a thing done. Watch this. They need to have something done by Tivoli with Roger Creed. You know, even it, it, it may not be the Roger Creed Avenue or Road, but their part of the stadium are the Roger Creed changing. Like they need to have something that says the Jeremy and Johnson changing room or the Jeremy and Johnson mm -hmm. stand, the Ricardo Fuller, the Roger Creed, you know, Steve Green. These people who have been a part of the national team, like the government and the community need to, you understand me? 
Yeah, well, uh, um, yeah. A, a Jamaican and a whole, you know, they're going to recognize you after you fall. You know, yeah. so they're going to do it while you're alive and can, you know, enjoy it. But such is life, though. And I think that's how we deal with most of our sports people, them. not only just football alone. Most of the sports people, them. you hear this, someone you have a cricket have a hard time, the footballer have a hard time. But that's that's how it is, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, so, so yeah, man. So tell us now, like, what are your thoughts on the present team, um, and the World Cup campaign? I mean, are you still optimistic? Uh, yeah, because um, them have how much points? Five points, and there's two more other team within what six and eight points. I mean, you have to you have to be optimistic, you know. You just hope them getting the players. Them one moment you hear this, Anthony is here for this game. This daily great. We need to just know who or just get a commitment from from these guys and and we we we, we can't qualify if I even for going at the playoff if we want to finish one two or three we can't even make the playoff but I think that's basically what we need to and 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 because we have to have a, at least a, a new kilos of player what we know so we are pick from them fifteen man here but the, the football is not like that now I don't know what the issue here you be a bickering here and there and you know the coach the federation and. You know, but it all started with the, with the, at the top. Yeah, yeah. So we need to get it at the top correctly, and then it's it, it, it streamed down into the team. Yeah, because all of the Anthony was supposed to come at the game the other day. He never him him not get go ahead with him physiotherapy. So you know, what I mean, break down a communication, man. We supposed to, all them things are supposed to sort it out. You know who and who and committed and know what is going on. So we know who we have for this game and who we have for this game. So yeah, I just, that, I just, I just, that, that, the federation, I think the, the, the federation here, there's, there's something going on. And I think the football, you know, we need to revisit how, how, how we select these executives for these federation. Okay. Good point. Yeah. Good point. But you, you believe that the team has enough qualities though? Yeah, they, they do. Yeah, man. They do. They have Mikel and Tony. They have, they're supposed to have Devon the career. But yeah. uh, um, they, they do because the last match, the result was 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 impressive. So, you know, we just have to just give them chance and and hope, say them just get it right. And some persons are saying that we don't have, you know, the kind of players like you, you know, people who take on people like a Ricardo Fuller, Jeremy and Johnson, a Walter Boyd, like every every cycle of Jamaican football, yeah. you would have that one player. Like, you know, if it, if you, even if you think about, even in the middle of the park, you have the same coach, Theodore Whitmore. You mm -hmm. had, like, the Andy Williams. Um, always, mm -hmm. You always had somebody inside there or on the wing who could take on people. But this team is missing that right now. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, they actually do. And and they, they, they don't have no one person who is the leader of the team. We can't, I, I see that with the team. No one person. We can't just get all the guys them together and say, listen to me, Jen, come on. Them don't have that in the team, but they do need somebody like that in the team. A player with little flair, a little a player that I like on the team is, is actually Maggie. But him, he, you know, him don't get from the other day. I noticed the coach not playing him based on the, the roughness of the game, which I think that shouldn't be an issue for not playing somebody, you know, what I mean, because he's that good. Okay, I think, I, I think, I think what I hear is that, uh, well, what, what has been said is that in terms of his defensive. He, he doesn't do enough defensively but but mm. how how was time how was how was that in your day because i know it's not like i never i can't remember see you defending so how, how, how did <laughs> no, that if you have to go you? back you have to go back you can't expect your forward um i mean and everybody have to defend you know what i mean okay. but him, him, him that good so i mean him is a midfielder and you must have a midfielder there and everybody has a tackle. You have the tackler, you have to um, work us in other thing. When I play with Jamaica team, you know, um, we ain't Palmer on tackle now. We have Winston Anglin, we do actually everything. Rest in peace for general. But Winston Anglin and um, Bingy Blair, them man there, and them man that do the running up and down. When we ain't Palmer, I run him around forward. <laughs> okay. 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 So, yeah. so is that a decision of the players are, is like the coach need to kind of say, listen, all right, Wayne is not going to defend, so Twinny Bob. We need you to do more work. I, I like to say, whoever the wingback was behind, they say, Roderick, you know that Roderick Reed is not going to come back. Or it's just the players well, on the field just take it upon themselves. Well, it's, it's, not, it's, not like, it's not like saying him not coming back, you know, but it's, it probably the player and him, yeah, him not going to get to go back, reach back there for that player. But you have them under there where, where, where I go fill in and, 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 and do all of the cleaning up work. So, you know, 
he, he necessarily have to run back and attack tackling and everything, no? Okay. Okay. Yeah. What What about now? Um, because I know, let me just, we're going to come back to the national team. Well, let me just ask about the national team because one of the things that has also been said about is that, like, I think you said it earlier that these players, they get way more than what you guys were getting. <laughs> I remember um, who, I think it was Paula was talking about how they used to he they used to sleep in the attic. It was hot. They used to get two fifty. He would have to oh. go out, go buy soup. Then the soup man who used to leave the half a pot of soup for the players to get. And then I know like persons like you in Kingston, some of the Kingstonian teams players at camp used to leave camp. I, I was actually I was right. actually the main the main culprit with Pandat. Um, cause after I have to leave and go down at Tivoli right down there some of my house because we have the upper stadium. <sighs> No, I, I tell my little son that I was a little son that got to Clarendon College and him called Daddy Boots. And I tell him, so listen to me, you're, you're more fortunate than me you now when I play football. When I play football, I say, you know, so stay down my bedroom. I'm a wish for Daddy. I mean, I say, you mean up a stay down where you used to live and sleep and all them things. I'm a wish for me, I tell him. He must say, yeah, I never know that. I mean, I say, yeah, we, we don't get them things, you know. Um, and then money I end up enjoy or reap it, which is all right. I mean, I have no problem with that. I'd have to start somewhere. You understand? Yeah. But it stayed and we used to them on. Yeah. And, how and, and then again, Simone is coming and kind of change the thing again. And then we end up a shorthood. And okay. find resident for the team and all of them things. So these are the things that them have now. So them have all of these stuff now. So, you know, we don't see why them are supposed to be dedicated and be committed. Yeah. So, I mean, you have like, you say you have your son. You have mm -hmm. Trayvon, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I like many people thought like that last year at Casey that he should have been mm -hmm. in and around the national team. Mm -hmm. And this is a consistent problem we have with youngsters in Jamaica now. They mm -hmm. will do good in them, unlike in your days. They would do mm -hmm. good in the Manning Cup, mm -hmm. but when Manning Cup is finished, they seem like they can't they can't come in the Premier League and be as good. You can go back to like as out of recent, you had the, the Car Carnell Chingsu, Kevin Pella mm -hmm. Wilson, mm -hmm. Troy Garnett, Kwame, all of these guys left from um, the Charlie Simi team and kind of came right into Arnett Gardens. Mm -hmm. The same thing. What is happening now? Why, like, even a Trayvon, when he left KC, like, with their son coming up, why, why, what is happening? Why they can't come out of the high school system and come into the local Premier League and, and be as good in the Premier League as they were in high school? Mm, very good question. But as, as I tell you, you know, it has to do with um, the, the, the really and truly the standard and home, and, and sometimes it has to do with your discipline. You understand how much you want it and how, 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 how much you're willing to work to get, to, to get there. Because as for we, it was just all about football, 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 and work and stay and train and train. Yeah. So it, it all depends on how much you want it. And, and as we tell you, the standard kind of drop the cleaner. So. You know, it's not everybody ever make that leap there. Yeah, but if, if you were to tell some of these youngsters, Mr. Reed, that, you know, the standard drop, they would say to you, look at how many of us going overseas to play. None of you guys, they would say like, none of you guys back in the day were really going overseas. All of you were playing here. If you're, and they will say, if you were so good, why weren't you playing overseas? Yeah, but the, um, the, and, and you call that opportunity. Uh, okay. who, uh, we are the one who set it for them. You understand? Yeah. It have to start from somebody else. Alan Skill call them never and and the Latus McLaren them and the Carl Brown them most of them play locally to them and they were good, yeah. very good footballers. So you know necessarily have to go overseas and, and leave Jamaica, which every footballer wanted it, that. But if it not happen, it not happen. But not necessarily that not necessarily true. Are we going to take some questions from some of the persons because a lot of them know you and they are, I mean, there are so many comments flying in. I don't know. Um, so the first one is from Badas. He says, what was your best two goals? You see, this is, this must be a man from Gardner close by because you see what him call you, Rado. <laughs> oh, no. I, I know the funniest thing that Badas is actually from Montego Bay. You know? oh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm from Montego Bay. You know? uh, actually, they, they goal in... in in the Gold Cup against Mexico, that was one where Kobe Jones is always, anytime him see me run into each other, and Mali is talk, tell me about it. Oh, that's Kobe Jones. Kobe that used Jones to play, used to play for, for the US. US. Yes, because okay. yes, remember, we played, Jamaica played them in North Carolina. Yeah, I tell about the game when Agla footed break. 
Right. That game there, yeah. might tell me, say, he might tell me, boy, great goal, and that goal there was about two years ago. But um, that was one of the goal, and they, and I, I would have to say the the, the debut goal, the header, that those two goals, and actually Hector Wright set up the two of them too. <laughs> yeah, both goals. Like Hector Wright used to, you, you owe Hector Wright a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm a power man, you know. Um, from him getting him and one wall up him head, me knows me have to spread wide. Cause he must, he must find me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, one, it's one of them midfielder they were here that enjoy play with, you know. Oh, this is Leroy Fast, Faster, Leroy, Leroy Faster, the baller. All right. <laughs> you, you put it All in right. there. Big up, big baller, Leroy. I think he used to play for Violet Kickers. Yeah, man, I'm a virgin, man, a baller, ah, man. And, and yeah, the next man, brother, yeah. man. When brother, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, man. Big up, Mr. Yeah. Faster, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Question, is it rumored, it is rumored that you wanted to attend Calabar? No. <laughs> I, I did I did make an attempt to try to transfer with Fidel with I Fidel Hamilton to Excel. So that was the only other um thing. No. No Calabar. Oh, okay. No Calabar. All right. No, this is this is a Calabar past you then. That's why he's asking that question. No, that's Maybe. probably rumors, you know. <laughs> probably rumors. Yeah, but what are the questions? What are the questions? So who is better in in, in the prime? You are Trayvon. <laughs> with me or with me or Trayvon. Uh, <laughs> at, at Trayvon, he had been at the national squad, so <laughs> see, so leave us know? to decide. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, I mean, how do you? I mean, how are given your experience, right? How do you like? Because I think Dean Seal was saying yesterday he's asking some of the past footballers when you see the younger players to encourage them, talk to them about their game to help mm -hmm. in their development, mm -hmm. right? I mean, how are you helping like Trayvon and your son? To be the yeah. best, yeah, that they can be. Yeah, actually, um, I talk to them because I, I, I watch Trayvon most time games and make sure I watch he, he, he's laughing, game. He's laughing at you, you know, so you know that. Him, you know. Him, <laughs> no, no, I always tell him, come, always come to me and tell me, say, oh, you know, this first year, this first year, and, and them, sorry, and, and some of them. All, and actually, most people that saw me play and saw him play, they always tell him, say, oh, you know, good like your uncle. But you know, him, 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 a baller, I told, man, him, a big I, told, baller. I told him that one time, but he never happy. So he told me that, but I said that word to him. No man, a big baller, man. I read him name, man, a big baller. You know, it's just that, you know. Him soon get fame break, man. But a nice little baller. I'm a little son too. Yeah, me I tell him, me tell him, say you have to, you have to be dedicated, you know. You have to want it, you know, and be disciplined. But. Trevor, all right. Ma, him, him should, him should make him break through in the national team. I just threw the other day. Him spent too much time in New York. I'ma tell him to go home back and play some ball. <laughs> yeah, but, but he has put on some weight, man. You have to tell him that he needs to, you know. Yeah, him come. Him never had a train. A vacation. Him depend on. But I tell him say, I have to be serious if he want to go far in the football. Yeah, yeah. That that yeah. is. Uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I talk to him. But how how easy it is though? Because sometimes, and and I know this. You know, living in a in a in a, in a city community, sometimes people believe that, like the players in these eras, probably don't spend enough time in the game. But if you look at Tivoli, they have a track record, like I said, of producing. You, you know, you had like a Steve Green who came through that. I mean, I just mm -hmm. call him Marco McDonald. Mm -hmm. All right, I just call him some name. You have Teddy Kimo Johnson. Dredd. Kimo Dredd. Yeah. Then you have yeah. like Teddy Johnson. You have mm -hmm. Ricardo, Kemard, Fuller. Ricardo Fuller. Even Kemar. Dada Daly was there, though he yeah. wasn't an original mm -hmm. Tivoli player, mm -hmm. right? Um, but how 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 do you guys like are able to, you know, consistently train and develop your craft in 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 a community like Tivoli Gun that people always have all kind of things to say, but they continue to produce excellent, excellent. Yeah, man. Yeah. Most people most people talk about Tivoli. Most people will talk about Tivoli, and they don't come from Tivoli. They just hear things about Tivoli. But Tivoli Garden and them sports, them old sports thing, them support them sports people them. So, and it's not, Tivoli is not really like how people say, say it is on a normal day, but we know like any other community, all kind of thing going on. But the sports people them, we're pretty much focused because they're just sports we deal with, you know, yeah. and the community support we. Yeah. Yeah. I always tell people that when you live in a, in, 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 in a community, like for me, you, you don't, the, the community protect you. So if, yeah. if, even, even if bad men are there, listen, you're not, you're not allowed to be you're a baller. Focus yeah. on your football. And, yeah. and, and that's just how it operates. When you are a sport, if you're a netballer, focus on your netball. If you're an athlete, 
folk, if you're going to do that, you do that. And they don't allow you to be engaged in certain things for the most part. Yeah, but... yeah man. From a baller, from a baller, you're a baller, you know? They are, yeah. They are the rest of things, them. Yeah. You, you yeah. just black out them than just no say a baller, you're dealing. Yeah. I see Um, this is Richard Stevens is out of England. Um, He's asking, what's the way forward ahead for the Jamaica national team? The literal... Best players are a mixture of home and overseas players. Yeah, well, and 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 that is true. We actually have to find a way to get them, to get them to mesh. So, so they, they need a right now. They don't have a balance, and that's what we need. The team is not balanced. So, so that's yeah. basically what we need. Because we have the talent. Them, you know, them Honduras, and look at even at Costa Rica game. It was like a joke. This when me I watched the game, me I said, no, nah, sir. Well, we could not play, man. And you know, so we have we have the talent. It's just to get it right. I mean, I know. Oh, I'm just say I start from administrative part, the top. But we have the talent. It's just to get it right. Simonis come there and do it, you know. And everybody did gravitate to Simonis. I don't know if that's where it are gonna take. No, but you know, we we can't just say we play for World Cup for qualify and and that's it. It not gonna work. We have to have a structure and a balance. Yeah. So so you, uh, okay. I see. So your, your main point is is before you e before we even get to the coach, then the question mm -hmm. is the administration. Admin is administratively, we need to yes. get things right. Yes. First, and then yes. Uh, okay. Because okay, so. these remember these people go and put everything else in place, you know. So if they are saying you go on Honduras and you think no, you have problem, and there's no way you can go on Honduras. Oh, you tell never book or right. Uh, administrative part that there's no way you can concentrate from playing football. So these are the little things where they have to get in place and make sure it's correct. When I used to play with Jamaica, we never have them problems. We usually have Tony James. That, that's Jen Commander from, I think, Mand Manchester. Yeah, Manchester, yeah, right. Yeah. Mr. James, Tony James. He was the yeah, president. Them, he was the president. That's what, yeah. that's what I'm saying to you. And Captain Burrell after him. But they, 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 did have it, they did have it right. So that's what I'm telling you. Administrative part. And it did all start from Tony James come right up, Captain Burrell. But it all break down now. We don't know how the problem, but we are, we are, we are, we are seriously have to think about that part of the football. Yeah. I see, see, um, he's asked Roderick, he says, could Roderick make a clearer, persuasive case for the role of strictly creative player? Have, haven't times changed? I guess, yeah. So the question is, is how, how necessary it is to have a creative player in the team right now? Or has times changed? And we don't, the football can be played without that kind of no. creative play. No, you have to, you have to have a, a, a creative maestro. You have to have a man who can do all of the little tricks, them or pull a little tricks out of a bag before we get something. And, and, and you actually, and that's what the team actually shot at. You know, like either refer to the wit more them and they all, you know, but that team you actually do shot at that person there. There's no one person who missing on the team where, you know, no. And then we still not see the the the, the Bailey them and they are waiting for them yet. The Antonio, Antonio, so you know the team do shout at that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, like when they have Jeremy and you and all them like a general there, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who, who are, let me just ask you this now before we get to the national team. I'm gonna ask you who are your your top five Tivoli Garden players. Of course, uh, you <laughs> you, you can you can you can <laughs> name yourself, you know. <laughs> Oh, but, <laughs> oh, so yeah, so so you yeah, talk in a my in a my time. Uh, well, well, you but, choose, when we play you, with you, you choose what time you want. Choose that. I choose that well, I, well, I would have uh, if if I have to choose, I would have to choose um that that, that I play with. Yeah, and actually, to that surprise you, because there 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 was this um um midfielder here, Ian Fogg. I don't know if you know of him. Yeah, man, I know Ian Fogo. Uh, yeah, Ian I know Fogo, I used to play well, for Tivoli. Bad, bad. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. All right, then. Ian, Ian Fogo. Fogo. Yeah. Um, I Fidel one. Hamilton. I Fidel Hamilton, too. Oh, you yeah, put me in a spot. You know, when I took a um, ball away, most people never even know about name Strode Clark. We call him Philly Guy. Philly Guy. I yeah, was, nice yeah. little baller. All right. Maestro, we call him. That's how, how much? Three. Three. And, and, and I can't leave out one of my um, center of court martial. Core Marshall, all right, big set off, all right. Yeah. Uh, yes, at five. Uh, Steve Green. Steve Green. The work fast, yeah. Right. Can't afford Shabba, you know? You can't afford <laughs> at all, all right? Yeah. 
Um, all right, so I'm going to ask you this question, but this person is asking, did, did Roderick play any other position? Do you know if... Right. Did you play any other position? I think your primary played, but go ahead. Cause I, know I, I, I mostly play on, on the flank, you know? A winger, left or right. And, 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 and in a lot of part, Tivoli Simone is it use, use me to play like a top, a top midfielder. That means you support, you know, right up at the top of the... You have used four and me that the top support the forward and come back. So that was... Basically, it yeah. Okay, all right. What about um Jamaica team? Who are who are like in in your time of either playing or watching Jamaica football? Who are your top five Jamaican footballer? Is top five? Man, I need more than five. One more player. You're gonna need more. Than, no man, you don't have to be who you play with. Just generally. Okay. Oh, generally. Okay, okay. You want go more than five? You can't go more than no, five. No, no. Well, I mean. I can tell you three footballers where, where, where I always look up to, and then we're number nine for some reason. The same then is then then Hutchinson. Then then, yeah. yeah, yeah. Leonard Hyde and Paul T. Got Davis. Three, three forward. Uh, yes, three <laughs> forward um, always. And there's a fourth one too, you know. Uh, 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 um, Andrew Palmer, a guy named Chinka from Tivoli. Died mm -hmm. very young. Rest in peace. And Chinka. Was a, no, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, okay. You don't know. Yeah. Very, very good ball. I'm die. You know, if a baller named Ron Palmer from from yeah, Boys Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Him, him die within that time there. Oh. And he just get called for the national team. So, very good footballer. He was, so, that would be what, four? Yeah. Okay. You know, I called Tony Boga Hector, right? Hector, right? Said to you, though. Just... <laughs> eh, uh, no, I you, you, you said Tivoli, right? <laughs> no, man. No, man. No, man. I just saying just. Um, yeah, five. Oh. No, you're yeah, five. Jamaican. We we'll play for Jamaica. Five. We we'll play for Jamaica. Yeah. We, we, remember, see, answer the Tivoli one already. You know, you're supposed okay. to give you know, five players who you know five top oh. Jamaican players. Play, play five top Jamaica. Jamaican players. Oh, yeah. we can't leave out my captain man, Anthony Carbet. Anthony Mad. Carbet. All right. Yeah. And the midfielder Eki. No, Eki. okay, Ali. <laughs> and T got a three that. T got. You have to call yeah. one Tivoli player, you know. So either Denzel eh? or Lenny Hyde. You have to call one Tivoli player. You know. <laughs> No, let me tell you, me, no, teacher, my idol. Teacher, all right. Yeah, so, I yeah. one more. Uh, one more. I think your son is um, you know what, um, You know this I, um, Cabra Barrington Gaina? Yeah, man, yeah, man. Gaina, yeah. the original number Rest two. in peace. It's, yeah, um, yeah. It is more, it is more, it is like, <laughs> them man, uh, all right. As a youngster going in a Jamaica team, we'll go there go see him. Okay. I mean, we usually play ball overseas, like a college and all them stuff there. And trust me, he was he was such a gentleman. Trust me. Um, mm. he, he, he's such a person, boy. I mean, I tell you, it's beyond football. Cabra, Barrington, yes, Guinea. Rest in peace, my brother. Your son is but saying that. If, I think I think it's your son asking. No, you don't mention Ali Rose. Yeah, but remember, I mentioned. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, I mentioned Ali Rose in the Under Twenty Three program when okay, okay. when Simone is out. Okay. So me, remember me telling you so that's where all of the Ali Rose them come from. The Nandi Low, okay, the Mesa, okay. and the yeah, them. <laughs> I'm a general man, no. Uh, all right, yeah. so let me, let me let me get some more questions. People, if if you if you have typed in a question and haven't yet answered it, don't worry. I'm 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 coming. I'm coming to it. Um, somebody's asking if you remember dribbling down. Let me see if I can find in stats. Um, in a two-two draw. Um, this is Mike. Uh, where is it? Uh, Michael Garden is asking this question. Let me see if I can find Michael Garden question. So many comments, but we get into it, Michael. He's asking about a game that you played against Stats. I think in in 1987 at Sabina Park. Do you remember mm -hmm. dribbling down Stats in mm -hmm. that two-two two-all draw at Sabina mm -hmm. Park in 1987? Did you score? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, and I think if I if I'm not lying, I'm not even sure if it was Aliman coaching them that year. But but yeah, I do remember. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And this is Coach Karumi saying how how you play the game. You see any player presently that plays similar to you? Mm -hmm. Um this you tell um Jennings. Jennings? Yeah. Jennings? Yeah. Um, Flemings, I mean, Flemings. Mm, Flemings. Flemings play by play like you? Yeah, him, 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 love, him play on the wing. That's all well, I mean. He's not going to play like me. <laughs> he's similar, but you know, that's that's a player I always like. Yeah, we like him oh, energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we like him yeah, energy, yeah. you know. And and he gets a hard time from the I will tell you this. He get he's one of the players who has been getting a very hard time from the Jamaican public because they believe that he plays for himself. Um. Though he was highly rated in school, so it's very interesting that you say that. 
But I mean, explain his game and, and how it compares every, to you. Everybody have, everybody have them own assessment and probably have different player with them like and, and with them. But as I tell you, say, him work rate, him work very mm. hard. Yeah. You see, we just a complain about Maggie not working and, and I know this man I work hard. You know, yeah. but um, I me like, me like him with him energy and them things. I don't know if I should come from West, but you know. Yeah, yeah. All right. And um, they're asking what college you attended. Mm, Tiffany University with Salomon Sharp. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. And then Michael Garney saying, yes, Hamilton, uh, Halliman coached us at the at that time and the late Alvin Sharp scored a header. Alvin Sharp. Yeah. To see he used to play with Kansas Spring. Could, yeah. All right. Then. Yeah. But you made mm. up pop up yeah <laughs> but, yeah, man. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man that was nice to go side that um that start side too man yeah that start side was good yeah that was nice to go side because that was two little ball at it the same youth that will die and the next one named Roderick a Bradrick, I think his name a little short midfielder busy rough yeah, yeah that was nice side Dean Sewell them yeah Dean Sewell was in that team right right yeah. right yeah, that's yeah. after he left Calabar and went to stats. He says Hagla is the toughest defender. I think he's asking if Hagla is the toughest defender you face, but who is the best goalkeeper you ever face up against? Against? Mm. Well, I forget. Um, wait, yeah, you know, um, Clive Smith, you know. That, that is Ninja from Ninja. Boystone. Mm -hmm. What were those games like, you know, Tivoli mm. versus Boystone? Yeah. <laughs> Bragging rights of the West. Them games there are... Uh, uh, High tempo game, you know. Yeah, you have yeah. to at your best. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. People, you know, listen, Tivoli people, I don't know who you need to talk to, <laughs> but I will say like, this man is a legend, right? I'll, I'll tell you why because I, I, I say to a lot of the youngsters now that growing up, people, you hear people say that, man, I want to be, yeah, a medium Luka Richie, a medium Hecky, yeah. a medium Tapper. A medium wild boy, a medium teacher hide. I mean, yeah, Jamaican youngsters growing up back in, in your time used to used to want to be Walter Boy, a medium black of pearl, a medium not I don't hear our youngsters saying those things. It's just Messi and Ronaldo and Mbappe. You go in any community now, you ask, what's the name of that person? Mbappe. What about all of the name? Neymar. What about all of the name? Messi. What about all of the name? Those but back in the day, right, a lot of the people, the footballers growing up, had Jamaican, except for Pele and Maradona, mm -hmm. a lot more persons were, were, were fascinated by mm -hmm. footballers like you and the that generation of footballers. You understand me? So what is, what is happening? No, why? You don't hear youngsters saying that, Armenian Wiley Boo. You know, Armenian Teddy. Or maybe it's happening and I don't know, but... Well. I may agree with you, I don't know if it is neither. But um, it, it just boils down back to the standard again. Because if 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 you notice, I can tell you that. I, Premier League, when I play football at Jamaica, and Premier League match, Sunday day time, oh God. All if I got through the whole Tivoli Garden, did it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it. <laughs> Football and I like that at Jamaica again, man. But I never watch football. A very few people, people the dieted love it. So that me tell you said the football, the standard job. Some people might say, Tell me I'll go watch it, who me I'll go watch it. But no, in my days I would me go, no, everybody all would lead to West Mullen, all would lead to St. James. It just and so me, me that for those contribute that to the standard of football. Because me just think it drop. I watch all of the level them. And I show me they are foreign, me have TV. Channel, we watch Manning Cup. Everything. So some can call Trevor and I say, "Big man, how you do?" And we, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 See, 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 see. Brothers saying that make them know you. You're a big central half a Sunday morning time. Cool like that <laughs> road. I say, "Go on, uh, think about big ball that you come from. Oh, I'm, be. I'm a general man." <laughs> <laughs> so, so you play, you, you play centre half in the old in the over forties though. Yeah, call them now. Be everybody want attack. And, and mm -hmm. our, our football are bragging rights, you know, because when we're done, we sit down for all two hours, you know. <laughs> so we can't afford for some man beat. Because, but him, that's the man, but as a the man, they not defend, man. The man, they plant up front, man. So we have to make sure we're there on the goal to score until we're ready for go up front. Yeah, I see, I see Pioneer saying that internet and cable more youth exposed to international football. So now they're watching less of the local football, which is a very good point. 
And then oh, and so because this generation is being raised on SM and technology and FIFA <laughs> and those things. So yeah, that that is uh, the interest in local football has really you know gone down as well because of some of these things. You know, because you can watch so much football on TV if the quality out here is not good enough. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. say if I watch this, I'm gonna fall asleep. Let me watch some Syria, some um La Liga, and you know, some EPL instead. So yeah. I, I guess I guess that's 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 what tell you know why them don't have much um local balling at the present um national team. Because personally, if you're a baller, you're supposed to just and you want to go there, you want to make your national team. I care who them are called from England. And because when me a youth up here, as me I tell you about all of them squad the we are training at, uh, one big long squad here one day if you ever go make it. You did all want to stop train. Uh, too much man. But yeah. now you have to, you just you just know your talent and believe in yourself. And I think that's probably one of one of the things with the youth them um lack of Jamaica too, you know. They don't like to fight, which is which is part of the issue with the local, this whole like like people always creating this narrative and I don't know, like every discussion, one of the questions that everybody wants to ask is English. And I, and I just don't, I don't want to discuss it because it should not be something mm -hmm. to discuss. Yeah. One is a Jamaican is a Jamaican. And I want people yeah, to and represent Jamaica. The only represent way, Jamaica. It only gets traction. It only gets traction when we discuss it. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm If you don't talk about a thing, mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. it almost ceases to exist. Yeah. Uh, all we need to know is that, listen, anybody... You work for your game. Remember you said it. Yeah, you work for your game. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a call. We have a call coming in. I mean, I know some person want to call and talk to you, but we have one call. This is, <laughs> don't even know this person. They call him Diego. Oh, I, I, I yeah. think so from Queens, New York. Queens, New York. <laughs> Diego Gilvey. <laughs> yeah, the legend is hearing you. <laughs> then Diego all right then yeah but respect all right yeah, yeah yeah so he's asking that question that you know the the, the 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 quality which is what you have been saying the quality is not so good no so the, the players them not them don't want to watch them football because the footballer them not good enough yeah but I mean because I, I absolutely sure you, you must have some some youngster in a, in a Jamaica way uh, um I see so I, I actually I do see some of them because as I tell you I, I watch the the Premier League Especially the little short league, them they are them are the other day. And you do have some ball at, some some good football there, but as I said, you still have to have structure. You're not going to see you, see, you, you, you identify them, you just try to get them and get them together and try. Get get this the team together, man. Get a new class of youth together. It 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 can't happen. Yeah, yeah. All right, I see somebody saying um um Trayvon Reed has all the attributes to go to the next. Why is he not moving forward? Right. Yeah. Talk to the. Well, he might, he might, he might listen, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely sure he must depend on it. Uh, right. Alyssa, so, well, uh, so. We have a next We have a next call here. So just, just hold on, Reddy. Yeah. Welcome to the show. I am sure sport caller. What's your name? My name is Stanley. Stanley. Good evening, I'm on. Where is Yeah, man. Go ahead, Stanley. What say you? Yeah. Ask Roger Creed if he's played with, with a guy from Clarendon named Ray Graham. He's asking if he played with Ray Graham. Yeah. He, he says, was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, he was even a young start yeah, to in the, in the program. Graham, and Roger Creed was a very good team in them time. Everybody, you know? Mm -hmm. Really want to watch the Premier League. He used to play for Galax. That's, that's what I just oh, tell yeah, you when yeah, Premier League are played. <laughs> oh, I try to do that, Dean. No, man, Dean, I do such thing, man. No, man, no, but I do them thing, no, man. You might just 
No, when, when Dean was speaking yesterday, he said that if the 20 players are from England and they are the best players, the 20 of them must play. He yeah. said that. Yeah, I'm not... Five pounds were them did have went before Burton and Simpson and 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 Paul Alcock. Remember, see, Burton scored the most goal to get to the World Cup, you know. But and even I go and say, well, Adam Dillon and Walter Boy could have scored the goal if he put it to the World Cup. And all them, and Adam Dillon, they couldn't put it to the World Cup at the time, you know. No man, he didn't say. I, I, I Paul, I have to disagree with you. What he said, what he he even said that he went as far as saying, Dean Burton, Paul Hall, and those guys paid yeah. their own money. He said. What is happening is that when those guys came to Jamaica, they came and live with them in the house when they came the summer. And he's saying that, yeah, man. So what he's saying is that with this new crop of players, they don't get to do that. They are not living together. So them just play and then go back home. And he's saying that that is part of the problem. What needs to happen is what they used to have before. He said that that made no problems was there with Paul Isle Dian because they live in the same house. No, but he never said the English player. What he what he said is this. He said that when he played on the right and Whitmore played on the right, Whitmore used to drift. Right. Whitmore used to drift to the left. He said Simoy said that the team is not balanced when he and Whitmore plays. So Sharty Malcolm played instead of him. That's what he said. Yeah. No, man. Remember, he was speaking about now when they went to the World Cup and Frank Sinclair. Frank Sinclair. <laughs> so he, you can't blame a man. He believed that he was the best right back. So I can't yeah. blame him for that. He believed yeah, that man. he was better than Frank Sinclair. Nothing is wrong with that. Yeah. And the Dean so well that, you know, who work like them man, the dog the flank. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, but that, but, but, but respectfully, Carla, that, that now have nothing to do, that now have nothing to do with the football still. <laughs> Oh no, man! What we now go? Listen, yes, right now we now get into the administrative nitty gritty. Can nobody now? We now go discuss thing with the people them now bring up right here now. You understand me? We are we are we are gonna salute the we are gonna salute the legend. I what? Listen, at the first long interview like this, we are get with Roderick Reed. I don't want to spend the time. I talk about those things. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, he never. He, he, he's asking about playing Europe, right? Well, I, um, I did. I did go to England with a, a team from Barbados. Um, a tryout for a Division Three team. I think it was Starkeel. Yeah, that was the only opportunity. And and I think Chung Fa said got Iceland one night time me and Twinny Bog. So he said yeah. he went to Iceland and thing and he and he went to England to try it for a division three team. But Carla, we have an ex call coming in. Want to really thank you for, for calling in. Yeah, man, sir. Yeah, man. Take care. 
Yeah, yeah man. And All thank right, you. Yeah, up. man. Yeah, man. But do you not divide them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I saw it times, you know. But um, yeah. we have a couple of calls. I see um, Linval Paula Wilson. Let me just get him back. I think he was trying to um, um, to speak to you. Let me see if I can get him back to see what he wants to ask. <laughs> Yes, um, Sir Paula, yeah, you're on the live, you know, with with Roger Creed. Roger, tell Roger to come off for the thing. Roger, come off for the thing, brother. Why, why, why? I'm not a friend, brother. No, no, man, no, if you say that. No, sir, if you say that, I'm wing back. No, man, I don't remember that. Hey, I'm going to <laughs> I'm asking how you do it, man. Yo, yo, heal him up, man. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah man, definitely. I yeah, will man, ensure that. Up yourself, Paula. Yeah, you must be big up. So I'll ensure that you guys are able to get in touch with each other, man. Yeah, All right. Mobia, Mobia, yeah, Mobia United is going to be in the Premier League. Right, what are the yeah. What are the last day appeal? Okay. All right, sir. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mobia United, Mobia United will be in the Premier League in the next edition, which starts the second of December. Because what are the um the, the final appeal? They lost it because um yeah they didn't find any reasonable reason to replay the game. Um and the the, the players were still not registered according to the report that came out. So what are the will be? Uh, Mobia United will be in it. So yeah, man. All right, then. <laughs> all right. So, Rajik, right, you, you, have, you have to go find a way to link up your wig back. Yeah, yeah. man. We have most of them link. I'll just follow probably, you know. Well, we can yeah. Pala. yeah. But people, Dean Sewell, Dean Sewell never did it. <laughs> yeah, man. All right. Carla, good afternoon, Carla. Welcome to the show. Yeah, man. Hello? Yeah, Carla, welcome to the show. Hello? Yes, Carla. We're hearing you. Good afternoon. Yeah, man, he's still here listening to you. Is this, is this Saudi? Yeah, man, Richard, it's a Leon Virgin, man. The man I gave the link up with, with the man. Okay, okay, yeah, Bird. <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> yes, Bird. Yeah, man, him know, yeah, man, him, him say Bird. Him say Bird, man. Him say Bird. Go on, go on. <laughs> yeah, man, I know exactly uh, how, you man. I'm not asking, hold on. Come here, navigation on from the phone. Yeah. Try to charge up the phone here, yeah, the tiger dead. Yeah, he says he has a question for you. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah man, we're hearing you, man. Yeah, may I ask about the, the quality of the ball, right, Richie? Yeah. Yeah, you know, my thing about that now. In a phone deal, still, me used to go enough for the match, them still. So, the quality did high and the crowd did enough and all of them. <laughs> but, them you which are nowadays now. I believe, sir, because I must see the ball on the TV 24 7 <laughs> nowadays, every day, and all them things. That mm -hmm. I think they have a different expectation of what they want from the youth. They may play ball like that, and the man is up to that standard. Then. But also, uh, what about the fact that the man, them, the, the, as soon as a man get a little thing at Jamaica, the man them go on a foreign, and like how Uno, Uno couldn't get to leave. So all mm -hmm. of the best players in the day are yeah, the play at the time. But no, the man them are go, 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 go. You think that have something to do with what the standard is? Well, but but it, them leaving should be should be should be um uh -huh. a good thing. Yeah, he's, them... resp he's responding salty. So you, you probably can listen back. So oh, let me see me. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, say that that, yeah. that 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 should be a good thing for them because that's what you need. You need players to go out and get experience, get exposure. So that means them can come back and, them, and, it, and it should motivate them. So two local youth leave the Omar Walker, them leave or this and that. It's supposed to have the other local youngster them work hard and know so them can move out. To... Yeah. I think what he's saying though, Rajik, and then we have um, a Jamaican, his name is Jay Taylor. He's in um, Denmark. I'm going to invite him on to ask you a couple of... What he's saying is that because so many of the players in Jamaica now are going mm -hmm. overseas, mm -hmm. it is making the quality of the football in, like the better players are in the USL or them in some Scandinavian nations. So he said, because so many, unlike in your time when everybody was staying in Jamaica, he's saying that mm -hmm. 
if you have 30 good players in Jamaica, mm -hmm. the 30 of them going to go away. So that going to make the league look bad. That's what he's saying. Well, I mean, not, 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 not necessarily because, I mean, you must have somebody else where, you know I mean, not everybody at the same time, but you must have a standard, man. You can't, it can't drop so drastically that, that you can't even have two little man there, you know, we can't, we, we can't slide into the national team. But if you think about overseas and, you know, the standard does drop. We just, it, it, when I think it have nothing to do with who leave. Because them, them there playing to the standard wasn't all that I needed. But they were, mm. they were the exceptional one. Yeah. All right. Um, Jay Taylor, welcome to the show. You know, we're just going to give you some time because I know Mr. Reedy, see all him battery are dead. He's supposed to give me 30 minutes in on him. <laughs> and you're gone. And that, God. Yeah, but my yeah. it, it will hook up to the thing, you know, the, the, the charger. Yeah. So, yeah, man. So I'm just going to let you ask a couple of questions of him and then we'll just release him because, him, him, you know, him coming from work tired and all of that. And, you know. <laughs> We have to get some beating from all him fans. I mean, Tiva, who's name he never calls. So we have to give him time. May I tell you, oh, you know so. <laughs> all right. But go ahead, JT. You know. uh, big up to the guests uh, on your panel this evening, uh, Mr. Reed. And big up yourself, my yes, uh, You know, I always have to ask these questions. Uh, really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to come on. Um, listening to the show and, 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 and listening to your track record, Mr. Reed, it sounds like you were a prodigy at that time. Um, coming up in Jamaica, um, I'm sure you had um, aspirations of playing possibly in the English league or in some of those bigger leagues. What What are some of the things that you thought were the, the obstacles that prevented you from not um, making that jump or that transition? Um, very good question. I, I, and and, and I'm not going to say it's lack of opportunity because I did the uh, as I tell you I, I went to England already with a a team from Barbados. There's this guy here, Phil Graham. I think he was a, a huge agent at one point in time. So I guess he saw something in me while I was playing for all of you and he invited me there. And uh, well, I'm not going to make excuse. I actually hurt there, but you know. But I think the lack of opportunity was 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 the thing. And I did go to Iceland at once, but just it just never worked out. Okay, and what were some of the, the what, what were some of the things that you noticed that um, maybe you didn't learn in Jamaica that you thought uh, it it possibly kind of hindered you when you got there to just hit the ground running um, based on what they were looking for? Well, I, I mean, you you could say um, the 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 um, the experience. Like like art and for example then like when we 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 got to go to England with these guys the way all the thing organized mm -hmm. whereby you know we're just from the bus to the changing room to the you know and everything was organized. So I think that 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 part of the, that aspect of it was 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 lacking there. But after those two experiences, I could actually say to my nephew you know, or another youngster said, This is how you're going to approach it or this is how you're going to carry yourself towards okay. that. Go yeah, ahead, JT, man. we have we have a caller. I'm calling from out of Canada, Ontario, Canada. Yeah, welcome to the show, caller. Mr. Reed is here in here. What say you? Just tell us your name, please. Yeah, man, we tell her the name afterwards. We just have to pick up to the man then. And the show really is interesting, you know? Yeah, man, uh, thanks. We want, yeah. Jump, we want jump in when he in there, you know, the voice drive. They're the baby, put in a little thing. But just listening to the two man them, you know, me really impressed with the two man them. You can see the thought process that they bring and that just, you know, just, just, just step off all the man them playing at them time, you know? Respect, yeah, man. Yeah, man, and thanks, man. The keeping, the dedication and the commitment is important in terms of from the younger players, them, and I think that's kind of lacking, you know? Yeah, You don't really have them putting out the work, you know, to get the desired result, you know? But yeah. Yeah. In terms of the quality of the, the, the school boy, I agree with him, it drop. And my view on that is, with the, the school boy, I call it now, with the increased numbers due to the secondary school, and not with respect to the secondary school, because secondary yeah. school is a two of my side. The increased numbers cause the, the, the quality players are the players with the potential to spread out. Mm -hmm. The team where it can really get more than players there to dominate. So, you know, like the JC, the KCR, the, you know, they get the, uh, more quality from them because they have more of that. So if you can 
Braxton Irie. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Braxton. Big up Braxton. All right, all right, Braxton all right. Irie. Yeah, man. Big, yeah, big up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, that's, yeah, that's Braxton Irie. Big up for Constant Spring as well. You yeah, understand me? So bless yeah. up. Yeah, man. All right. Like I said, um, go ahead, J. I, I see uh, next question here. Hold on. Let me just ask. Um, they're asking, somebody's asking me if you have any coaching. You know, if you have your coaching no. um, license yet. Okay, no, no, no. All right, go ahead, JT. Uh, yeah, my next question. And just for Shata, I'm not the only black um, man in Denmark. There's a, <laughs> approximately a, there's approximately about 50 Jamaicans in Denmark. Not a lot, okay. but I'm sure right. there are other people with similar skin color. Um, do you think, because you, you stated that you left, uh, was it Manning Cup, um, and you just... Mm -hmm. um, you went right into the national team. What are, one of the things that I've noticed here is that younger players they kind of like when the younger players um they they they, they take each step and then mm -hmm. they they dominate at each mm -hmm. level and make mm -hmm. that transition. Do you think you just jump in from Manning Cup straight to the national program? Kind of you missed out on some level of development where um, like that in between where you could have went to somewhere else where your age group were and you could probably dominate to get so so you got more eyes on you at that level you think that was well um in in as as for Jamaica it's it's like um Manning Cup after they, they, they didn't have much youth program at in my time like, okay, like as okay. I explained to the host before that um Simone is come and start to integrate the under 23. So I'm saying they didn't have an under 17, an under 16. Or, so at that time at 16, 17, I was playing Premier League. So from the moment I finished high school, it would be just Premier League and straight to the national program. So you know, we never we never in the under 17, under 16 program. No. Okay. So that's basically but no, it's probably different now. You understand? Because I'm of under 16, under 17, 19, and 23. So you know, yeah. at my time, they, they never have much youth program like that. So, so your your time in the Premier League in Jamaica, did what were some of your challenge the challenges you 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 found after leaving Manning Cup? Because I'm, I'm I'm assuming you're now playing against grown men, and I'm yeah. thinking the, the, the Premier League in Jamaica was a bit more harsh then. I remember you yeah. watch the tackles. Did that affect your 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 mental state? Because I think sometimes if you're playing with players who are super aggressive, that can put a, a player in their shell a bit. Did that affect your mental um the mental side of your game? No, no, not really, you know, because um, as a youngster growing up and, and I don't know, I don't know if, you know, live in, I don't know, you know, street ball, we refer to it like street ball, scrimmage. Road you know, ball, so road ball. Road, road ball. ball, yeah. So them look, you know, them look at things that grew, make you grow. Because when me a little boy and I play in a driver, you know, as some big man we play against, you know, Tony and Sumpit and all them, man. I'm a little boy and my mother, they're they, they, they my hair, they say, but, and I guess it, it come from, so, no. Not really. Okay. Yeah. So it, it more yeah. or less contributed to to, yes. to to you to you becoming tougher there. Yep. The style of play. Um when you went to England, I'm assuming you went there on a tryout, right? Was that a yes, tryout? I, a tryout. I went yeah, I went with a team um from Barbados, but I was one of the person that the team sent um, on a tryout. Go and look at yeah. Did did you the um find that your style of play in Jamaica did did you did it affect you possibly not getting a contract um, when you when you had that trial. Well, um, no, you know because actually I, I didn't even complete it in a, the actual tryout game because I did actually get injured before. But um, no, it, it that wouldn't play any part in it. Yeah, man. Okay. All right, people. Listen, it's two hours thirty minutes <laughs> of good, good conversation with Mr. Roger Reed. And um really, really they call him some of them call him Rado. They call him Little Richie. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm so sorry that there are not clips for you yeah. to to look uh, at. I think many Jamaicans miss the genius in these guys because there are no, not enough clips. 
to show their quality. And if 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 certain opportunities were were afforded to Jamaica, I think many of these players could have made a career for themselves in Europe. But I hope from some of the things you have shared today, just the hard work, the commitment to the process, you know, developing your craft, you understand me, be committed to the process of growth and development. If you're a young footballer, I hope that you hear, you listen, you heed the advice and, 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 and the counsel. These guys, listen, these guys play football in New York regularly, wherever they are. Those in Florida, they're playing all over. And if you watch them, you can tell that in their younger years, they were high quality. Like, if you look at like players like Elder Mop, the Hector Wright, the, even coach Theodore Whitmore, where they don't like his coaching, you look at them now, you realize that they still keep themselves in good yep. physical condition, which is saying that the, the coaching and all of those things and keeping up in discipline during their playing career was important to them. And so um, we want to thank you, sir, and, and uh, thank you for your time. I can't leave though without giving you the opportunity to, to, to greet and call all the names you want to call and heal up all the people you need to heal up home yeah. and abroad so they don't yeah. call and say you never say nothing about them and you go yeah. like, yeah, that's because we know the thing going <laughs> here. <laughs> and yeah. then, so people, please do that. And listen, you have to hit the like button. You can't let this legend come on and you don't hit the like button past 100. So you need to do that. So go ahead. Um, yeah, man, man, big up all of the Tiva lights, them. And, 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 I would have, and I would have been dumb if I leave the program and don't big up to I'm a coach them, Latus McLaren and Owen Sharp, to the man them that we all start from in the beginning. And big up all of them will play alongside me. I can't call no name because <laughs> I'm going to leave out people and people going to call me back and say, What well, do you think I'm here? You went near me. So big up all of the ballers, them, special ballers. It was a joy. I'm going to big up you, them. Look at Richie. Yeah, I watch it. Him, they don't have, a ball of that way, you have to go look out for Clarendon College. Clarendon College, yes. Yeah. Man. Look out for him. I think he's Roger Cree Jr. No, I'm a Marquis. Marquis. Marquis, yeah. right. Look yeah. out for that name. Yeah, yeah. I look at ball of that, you know. Shout yeah. out. And Trevon, you have to big up Trevon, you know. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Reed, I'm a watchman, but don't tell him already, you know. I'm going to tell him, say, you always have pressure. Him say, you always have pressure. Him. <laughs> so, man, yeah, I could ask, I have to ask a question, definitely, yeah. to your guest, uh, before he leaves, about the um, the current state of the national program um, before he leaves. Um, what what are some of the things that you think can be implemented after after this go around? Because you, as you can see, we are obviously witnessing that it's a mess right now. Uh, if this doesn't work out, what are some of the things that you think should be implemented going forward so we can get better results and, and, yes. and have a smoother program? Prepare for the, the following one you're talking about, right? Yes, going forward. So, yes, so we're going to have to identify a nucleus of youth, a youngster, especially um, local. And, 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 and get them together, man. And have them come in and play here and there. Every squad here, you try to invite them and bring them in. Have to start from down there, so from the ground route. So all we ask the, the, the federation, it's not for me, the, the, uh, this is where the federation come in. You know, yeah, you, you, Simone is, when Simone is coming to Jamaica, Simone is go everywhere. Sometimes you see a man that come in from the team, that come and come and train. Simone is go everywhere. So this is where you have to, you have to start from the grass route. You go here and there and find the little youth them and bring them together and go and build them. And then now you just bring who you want to bring in and then it, you just bring them together and try to get a balance. And it will work. It can work. I just, as I say, you know, it starts from the administrative part. You think we need a coach uh, going forward from outside of Jamaica or you think well, I mean, things can be done by a local coach? Well, you know, you know, oh, Jamaican, um, we think um, Jamaican think more time, you know, them think um, them fellow Jamaican probably not good for the job. So if it, if it's an overseas coach them want and that's what it takes, then, you know, I had a coach and that's for me I tell you it start from administrative. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, man. All right. Jay Taylor, much respect. Sir Reed. Yes, Mr. Taylor. Big up hey. yourself. Yeah, man. Big, big, I'll go and drop, man. Yeah, go and drop, go and drop some football over there when you come up again. You know, we have a World Cup at the games, there, man. Think, and this way, yeah. I'll go on with. Well, Malma, man. I have got beaten four 0 last night by by um by Chelsea. That that's a Swedish club. 
as you okay. know. Yes, okay. uh, they were the yeah, Champions man, so. League. Yeah. So, Mr. Reed, again, thanks for your time. I know you came in from work and you did the right. interview. So, I know you're going to eat and sleep, you know, and then yeah, probably no. do some, some touch the road, too, you know, touch the road and thing. But thanks all again. Right. Yeah, man, no the, problem, man. All the garden yeah. lights, them. Thanks yeah, man, all the people lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Teddy, listen, I need to hear from Teddy, you know, everybody keep asking me. You need to find out what Teddy doing. <laughs> so, Teddy, you need to come and come and talk. You know, we're trying to get you on the thing a long, long time. So, big up yourself. <laughs> Liquor Richie, rather. Yes, Mr. sir. Roger yes, Creed, Mr. Taylor. Bless, Bless, Bless up. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. All yeah, man. All right. Peace yeah. out. Yeah, man. Yes, People, sir. Jay Taylor, again, thanks as well for coming on um, and, and being with us. People are going to close the stream because we have an interview coming up with a, the, the, a Jamaican youngster who is moving to um, Real Sociedad um, now to, to do... Uh, uh, a, 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 a trial um, that looks like it's going to be a, a sure thing. He's going on trial um, to play for Real Sociedad. He's a centre back, and um, yeah, man. And so we're looking at. We're going to be talking to him, and also his sister, who wants to be a future reggae girl, and they are going to be on the platform in around thirty to forty-five minutes, speaking about that. So we want you to tune in for that, and then tomorrow. We'll have Len Ward, Teacher Hyde, <laughs> on the show. I mean, um, so we have that planned. And then next week, you know, when we start our interviews from Monday to Friday, I, I don't want to tell you the names until tomorrow <laughs> of those we will have. But thank you. I know we were having a conversation earlier about the World Cup and stuff. We are going to finish that about the amount of teams and the cycle, the time of the cycle. We're going to finish that, but want to close off this so we can prepare for our next show. Again, thanks to everyone, every single person in the in the comment section, every person who watched, maybe you never made a comment. We really appreciate that. Make sure before you leave the stream, you hit the like button, people. And if you have not yet subscribed, please definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe to the channel. Thanks to Jay Taylor, for coming in, all the persons who are in the comment section who uh, moderate and watch the conversation and monitor the conversation, we thank you so, 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 so much. Thanks to our sponsors, Trick Nick, right? Remember, they are offering 25% discount on all their products. Just use the code I am sure sports 001 when you shop at www tricknickcooks.com make sure you do that people make sure you do that and 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 get some jerk product and paste and sauce and marinade all of those things and they have curry paste it's a jamaican operated company in canada and they use only jamaican products to make all produce to make all their products so check them out in fact let me just play this so you can you can know what you're making today. herbs and spices add delicious bold flavor to your next grilling experience flavoring sauce a marinade basting condiment or topping trick nick jerk barbecue sauce yeah so there you have it trick nick jerk barbecue sauce just one of the things that they do <laughs> all right again thank you so much again join us listen we're gonna have we have a big program coming up. You need to hear from this youngster. Good center back. That um, Jamaica, you need to hear this story, right? Because we have so much talent in this nation that we don't even know. We hmm. don't even know. Is he based in Jamaica, my name? Currently? He's not based in Jamaica, but he's close enough to Jamaica. He's he's just a footstep away from Jamaica. So okay. let's save that for the interview, people. <laughs> again, thank you so much. And join us again in around 45 minutes. Have a blessed day and be safe.